Good evening, everybody. We are having a spooky evening tonight. How are we all? Are we all frightfully excited? <laughs> Good news, I won't be doing that for the rest of the stream. Hello. <laughs> How are we all doing? Are we all? Are we all? <laughs> oh, heavens above. Hello, Bears Hearth. This is a stream. Hello, Jazzy Fantasy. Stream time. Spooky stream time. Mm, it is indeed. <laughs> streamy time, streamy time. Hello, Flicky Dicky. How are you doing? <laughs> Remember to record? Thank you, I did. Just, just, just. But I did. I did not the less. I'm very excited for it. I've unintentionally gone for a bit of a theme. I'll discuss it more once I uh, display my costume. I'm very excited for. Um, but I've accidentally gone for a bit of a theme. <laughs> I've just realised something with my... I've got a lovely cup of tea next to me. Anyhow, it's lovely and warm. It'll keep me spooky and warm. It won't keep me spooky. It'll keep me warm and cheery on these dark, mysterious roads. We're going for a walk tonight. Don't know if anyone knows about this, but we're going for a walk tonight. We are. We're, we're playing some WoW and we're going to have a little walk from Shadow Fan Keep to uh, Light's Help Chapel. It shall be majestic. Uh, let's just turn down the BGM. And by turn it down, I mean just completely zap it in one go. There we go. That was <laughs> smooth AF, as I'm sure we'll all agree. Wonderful stuff. Bring in the game. Oh, I'm so excited. Are we all okay? Are we all okay? <laughs> I hope we're all doing okay. We are wet. Oh, no. That is not ideal. Ceiling is still leaking. Got a couple pots to catch the chips and a towel over my arm. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun. Don't like that. Oh dear, friend. I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can distract you from the, the, the drip, the drip, the drip, drip, drop. I have a song in my head whenever I hear about water droplets. Don't ask me. I promise I'll explain this. No, I, I don't promise that at all. It's going to be explained, but questionably. When I was in primary school, they brought in a cool person to teach us about uh, <laughs> drinking water and why we should drink water. Hydration's cool, kids. Um, uh, <laughs> so... And they had a, like a song that they sang and then they gave us CDs at the end and I don't have that CD anymore and it breaks my heart and I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. I don't think it exists. I think I dreamt of it. Anyhow, that song goes in my head for some reason whenever I hear about water. So I guess it worked and I do drink a lot of water. I don't know if that song was to help though or not. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Me and Flicky won prizes for our costume because they're the best. I look forward to seeing them. Oh dear, wow for to work. Wow very for to work, yes. <laughs> Hello, Ozzy. Oh dear me. Still in contact with the roofers. Hopefully someone will come in and re help repair it in the next few days. Oh, I hope so too. That's not fun. That's sort of, that's that's the sort of thing you want done as quickly as possible, isn't it? Oh dear, I hope it's speedy AF. This is quite not the scary thing you wanted for your Halloween, and yet here you are. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's definitely scary. It's just not the right kind of scary. I said you group him like, I should probably turn the game UI on then, didn't, shouldn't I? Oh, it's, it's, I'm afraid it's, it's, it's expired because I was chatting on about bullshit. Hey, thank you very much. The group invite. Yeah, look at you lot. Look at you lot. So, plans for the night include going for a bit of a walk. Uh, you know, the usual stuff. Um, we have... Oh, what was that noise? Sorry, hang on. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, <laughs> wasn't looking at the right screen then. Um, we're going for a walk. It's very exciting. We are in Shadow Keep. We're going to head towards um, Lights Out Chapel. We have a vague route in mind. There's some some pictures in on. I put it on my Twitter and in my Discord as well, where there is a link to there. Thank you very much, Nightbot. You helpful little fucker. Um, <laughs> hopefully, just going to have a nice little wander. It should. It should be alright. It should. Um. What else was I going to say? There is a Blizzard community. You know, communities. Those things that definitely exist. <laughs> that we definitely did not all forget about, because I definitely forgot about them. Um, <laughs> we have one of those for uh, cross-faction chat, which is exciting, if so desired or required. Um, but otherwise, I think we're just sort of going to huddle around, take a, take a few minutes to look at everyone. You know, If anyone's wearing any costumes, we can be excited about that. I'm wearing a costume, which I'm excited about. Um, a little bit too excited about, to be honest. And then, and then we're gonna just set off. It should take us about an hour and a half. That's sort of my estimation. We, we, I did. I've, I've walked it through a couple of times with various helpers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Alrighty. 
saying to my dad, Adult Halloween is, what is that strange noise coming from my car engine? What is a leak coming <laughs> Come from my ceiling pipes? Yep, why am I in pain and how much will it cost to fix all of this? That is scary AF. My boyfriend showed me a vi uh, it was a TikTok, I think, of someone that was like, welcome to the house of realistic horror. And it's just like, debt, taxes, finance. And then they're like, no, this is too scary. We, we, actually, we actually need to close this. It's a bit too much. <laughs> Oh dear me, which is a bit too real, isn't it? It's a bit too real. Right. Right, right. Righty right. Let's pop over to the game, shall we? It's exciting. Do let me know, as always, if the game is too loud, too quiet, the usual shenaniganry. This is not my costume. This is a random torrent that I transformed into because I wanted to keep my costume secret. <laughs> Mortgages. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's just Spooky mortgages. I mean, mortgages are pretty fucking spooky. Oh. 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 Hello, everybody. How are we doing? I didn't mean to roar. I, I'm not a torrent. I'm not... My, my costume's not a torrent. Let me reveal my costume. But damn. I need to put on this and then... No, I think that's it. This is my costume. I'm coming as Deathwing. Uh... <laughs> Got the lovely little face plate, which I mean, I love this helmet. It makes me very happy. It got the jaw, got the, got the big shield, which is you know Deathwing's back. I've got Deathwing's back on my back. I might as well be Deathwing, quite frankly, um, and a little Deathwing axe. So I'm Deathwing. That's my my costume. However, it does come with a few extras. I've got um, oh sorry, pardon me, priest. Uh, <laughs> I've got a uh, whelpling, of course, because Deathwing is a father, and therefore so am I now, apparently. Uh, and I also have a noble steed, which may or may not be the real Deathwing. So, <laughs> I've come dressed as a Deathwing, and I'm a little bit chuffed with myself. I'm a little bit chuffed. Um, the theme I was talking about, I've got my, I'm drinking my tea in a Spyro mug, and I've got a little Spyro figurine on my desk. I'm, it's unintentionally gone for a dragon theme, which is exciting. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Look at you all. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Dun. Oh, sorry, there's people walking past. I feel ever so rude. I feel... <laughs> oh my god, look at you all. <gasps> what are we all... Okay, where do we start? Spooky dragons, very spooky dragons. Where do we start? Let's 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 start from the left, shall we? Hello, everybody. How are we all? What have we got here? I, I, I don't know who's here for the walk or who's who's not here for the walk. I think some people are just sort of... There's a, there's a roleplay event going? Hang on. We're just going to really quickly just float on over because it... It tickled me a little bit. I'm just... I'll be back in two seconds. There's there's a roleplay sort of thingy going on. I don't know what it is, but they're all really cool people. Maybe it's finished. Oh, no, it's definitely still going on. Oh, look at them. Look at them. There's cool people doing cool things in Shadow Fan Keep. If you're a roleplayer, definitely go check that out. <laughs> Looks cool as fuck. Anyhow, we're also just here for a walk. Oh, wonderful. We're going we're gonna to step away from those people who may or may not be involved with us. <laughs> oh, look at you all shuffling in a line. All right, so what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Hello, I believe this is Flicky. You have a, oh, are you a demon hunter? <gasps> are you a demon hunter of some variety? You've got the horns, you've got the sort of the, 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 the skirt, but the no top on, and also maybe, is that, was that, is that tattoos? And the like, the scythe thing, the warglaive? Are you a demon hunter? Flicky, are you a demon hunter? I, <laughs> I love all of these costumes. Oh, they're beautiful. We've got wonderful ghostly white robes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We've got very spooky pumpkin head, which is very spooky. I love all of these. And the little bunny. Hello, little yeah! bunny. I'm terrified. Don't know about you a lot. That was that was alarming. <laughs> we've got we've got a little bunny called Peter. Okay. There's a little bunny called Peter. Oh, it's alright. Don't worry. I'll keep my um. I'll keep my whelp away. My whelp will. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. We have. <laughs> we have a blood elf. This person, ignore their blue feet, is a blood elf. Actually, saying that, blood elves can, quite frankly, be blue at this point, can't they? Um, yeah, this is a blood elf, wearing blood elf armor, obviously on a blood elf mount with blood elf pet and other blood elf pet and other blood... Yeah, this is definitely... A, this is 100% a blood elf. Check the hunter pet names. Halderon. Please be... This is just a bright one, actually. And Kael'thas. Alderaan and Kalthas. Well done. Is that your ship? Do you do you ship Alderaan and Kalthas? It's a good ship. I, I would, yeah. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you all. We had a poll running in stream, by the way. Um, Just while I was loading in something to do. What was it? 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 It was, what is the spookiest zone on our route? And I think the winner was. What was the winner? I think it said it was Western Plaguelands. 
Yeah, view results. What have we got? Oh, heck, that's not... That's a big screen, just a view results. No, sure, pop it onto another way. I'm, I'm not going... Western player glance. Which, I'm going to be honest, wouldn't be my choice. But you know what? That's the point of polls, isn't it? It's just find out what other people think. <laughs> Harder on cost stealthy. Kalthas because mana battery. Oh, no. <laughs> Most terrifying thing for trolls. Elves. You are. You are very spooky elves. I'm so... I'm terrified. I'm terrified of you all. <laughs> Oh, amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. You're all wonderful. Are we all ready to go? I'm just going to take a little screenshot for posterity. I hope that's okay. Just a little... A little. <laughs> you all look very cool. I'm so proud of you all. I'm so proud of you all. Look at you. Look at you. All right. Oh, no. I need to hang on. I need to do that again, but without the big screen captured words on the, <laughs> on the screen. All righty. Excellent. Eh? Let me do two things real quick. Boop. 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 Come on, you can do the thing. I believe in you. Sorry, I'm just waiting on my internet to uh, exist for one moment, please. I beg of you. <laughs> Press button. Do thing. Might take ten hours to do the thing. I'm going to have a sip of tea, and then I think we shall set off, shall we? Because let's get this show on the road. We've got walking to do. Come on. We're seven minutes late. Whoops. That's totally my doing, by the way. Hmm. Ooh. The tea I'm drinking tonight, what's it called? Hang on a second. It had a name. It was very delicious sounding. Something nougat? Oh, I would pick it up, but I put the tea bag on the packaging, so I can't actually do that without dripping things everywhere. So I won't do that. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty. Pressed buttons. Buttons have been pressed. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? I think someone's already set off. Oh, fuck, I'm late. All right. <laughs> oh, heavens above. Right then. Where's our, where's our resident blood elf gone? I think our resident blood elf's fucked off. I think our resident blood elf's fucked off. Oh, they're in the sky. Oh, are we all inspecting? I'll catch up. No worries. No worries. Alrighty. Are we all going for walkies? Are we all going for walkies? All right, press the walk button. And off we go. Ba -ba 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 We're on a walk. It's exciting. <laughs> Deathwing is leaving the way, followed by a demon hunter. Oh, with this Calderine knight save. Are you, oh, you're an elf. Of course. Of course. I... Don't ask me why, but I forgot that demon hunters were elves. That, that that explains the owl as well. I'm so sorry. I oh the owl's got Taranda. <clears throat> amazing, amazing. Just a quick vote of um, words. How on earth do people pronounce Taranda? What's is it Tarand? Taranda. My sister, gosh bless her, pronounced it Tiranda, and she knew that I hated that she did that. She definitely did it on purpose. She was 100% doing it on purpose, but. <laughs> Tyriander. Tyriander. That was... We can all agree that's maybe not 100% the correct pronunciation. I go with Tyrand or Tyrander. I normally add the uh at the end, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people silence it. It's more of a Tyrand, you know. We're off. We're off indeed. Along the spooky path. If anyone has any concerns about the route, um, there are, as I said, there's some pictures I've put up on, on Twitter and on the other place. What's the other place? Discord. That's it. Oh dear, someone help me pull on Peter. Oh, Peter the heavy bunny. Oh, it's okay, we can all take turns carrying Peter. Peter will be... <laughs> we can look after Peter. All right, I'm gonna... Here's the best thing about going for a walk. It's super fucking relaxing. You get to explore the world, but like the best thing, the best thing... You can just press the auto walk button and you can sit and watch the world go by and have a cup of tea. It's great. I'm not... I'm, not, I'm better gonna touch the controller for this entire stream. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Going to be playing a game without playing a game. I mean, might walk into a fence or two, but it's fine. Alrighty. So, yeah, apparently people thought that um, Western Plaguelands was the uh, the spookiest of the zones, which, fair enough, maybe the fact that it's so, you know, human is the spooky bit, you know. We're looking for creepy undead vibes, and Western Plaguelands is very much alive. It's terrifying. There's a deer. There is a deer. There's a very... In oh, it's an infected deer. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, the poor thing. What level are we all, by the way? Level 20, level 35, 45, 54, got those wrong around, 48, 41, and 60. Oh, we'll all be fine. We'll all be healthy. Uh, very heavy for me. A ghostly cloud. Oh, yes. Oh, ghost costume. No, that's great. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, oh, that's great. Oh, I love it. Oh, I didn't even consider that. That's great. Oh, wonderful. Sat through an entire raid with a raid leader called Cyanathrius. Sire Dionathrius. Like Dionathrius? That reminds me of, like, Diagon Alley. <laughs> That's great. Dian... Dionathrius. 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 Honestly, it rolls off the tongue a little bit. I could understand. If I'd read it as that first, I I, I could have easily got that stuck in my head. That could have easily been how I pronounced it forever. Regrettably, I... 
Dionathrius. It might be. It, honestly, from now on, it might be. I might accidentally just... Do you want some ghost stories? If anyone wants to provide ghost stories, I'm all for ghost stories. As long as they're, you know, not like... And then they chopped off their head. Like, I don't... <laughs> Sire Daddy. Now, that's the proper pronunciation. I'm sure we can agree. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's my preferred pronunciation, anyhow. Um, it's a good job I'm not in Reverend Ref often because I would have a hard time figuring out how to quest. I would be too busy, you know, looking at people and going, mm hmm, yes, giant stobot. <laughs> uh, not Rius, Rus. So, Di Un Athrus. Dian Athrus. Oh, wow, Dian Athrus. That just sounds like an entirely different character. I mean, it is. It's an entirely different word. That's amazing, though. I like it. Dian Athrus. <laughs> Made a collection of stories. Oh, some people are way too prepared. I am not even slightly prepared. And I'm apparently the one organizing the... Ooh. So, as you can see, the keep is in the distance now. I've always really liked Shadowfan Keep as a dungeon. And just, like, thematically. I love Shadowfan Keep. It's very fucking cool. It's very cool. As the Blood Elf. Mm -hmm. Yes, the resident Blood Elf here. Actually, your uh, TRP says that you're a troll, which I think is a lie. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful. I'm gonna get a sip of tea. Stoneborn, yes. Mm -hmm. I look, I don't have a single vent here yet, and that's probably for the best. I do have two characters in Iron Wield. And that's a struggle on its own, quite frankly. I wish Charles could be demon I wish so too. I wish everyone could be demon hunter. Quite frankly, my ideal World of Warcraft is where anyone could be any class, and there are zero questions asked. It's all just like, yeah, no, it's fine. We can, it, it's justified in a way if we really wanted to. <laughs> I would love that. I would love that. Pandaren demon hunters. Make it fucking so. I want it. Pandaren paladins. Anyone could be anything. That is my ideal reality of World of Warcraft. Anyone could be anything. I want everyone to be a druid. I want mechanome druids and I want them now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Sticky toffee lollipops. I have a, uh, I have a toffee apple with me. I like toffee apples. I really, really like toffee apples. I, the only reason I have this particular toffee apple is because... Well, that's not what I meant to do. Excuse me. Excuse me, game. Excuse me. I'm, I say game. It was me. I accidentally knocked a button on my controller. Oh, no. Oh, dear. It's fine. Look, I just wanted to stretch my legs a little bit. We're okay. Look, it's fine. Carry on. We don't need to... Do... <laughs> Whoops, I fell over. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, the only reason I have... Um, Toffee Apple is because it was reduced at work. It was reduced from a pound to 50p, and I was like, I can indulge myself. I can have a pound's worth. I can I can buy two Toffee Apples for the price of one. I can I can do that. So I did. They're not ideal, but, you know, they were reduced for a reason. They're not. They, they are going out of date soon. But that's not the place. It's very delicious toffee. And the apples are, I, I guess. Normally, I light a candle for Halloween. Normally, I have, like, a little, a little spooky candle. It's it's black and it's 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 it looks like a pillar of skulls, obviously in wax. I can't. I haven't looked for it. I completely forgot about it. And to be honest, I would be a little bit hesitant to stream whilst having a candle lit. One because it provides no purpose to the stream. You know, it's it's, it's not like you can see it. Um, but two because I don't. I, I barely trust myself with a a, hot, a cup of tea. I don't. I probably just smack a candle over and then I won't be able to stream ever again. You know, it's. it's it's not ideal. I'd rather avoid that circumstance, if possible. <laughs> Apparently, Little Natharian is the Lord of Black Blackrock. Are you going to keep doing that, Little Natharian? Are you going to keep declaring yourself the Lord of Blackrock? I don't think that's a bad thing. I just... Is that a thing you're going to keep doing? I'd like to know. <laughs> Apparently, this pet's from the 15th anniversary. What anniversary are we coming up next? What is going to be the next anniversary? September, must it be? No, it been September. Has the anniversary... 17th? Heavens above, 17th anniversary. Goodness gracious me. Not be long till it's the 21. That'll be terrifying in its own beautiful way. 17. 17 years of World of Warcraft. And how many have I been playing it for? Eight, eight or nine or ten? Yeah. Yeah, eight or so. Eight to nine to maybe ten. No, not ten. Definitely not ten, but eight. Eight or so. I'm going to go with eight. We'll just call it eight. It's probably... Uh... No, I think it might be... I'd st we'll call it eight. Anyhow. Eight out of 17. That's a decent chunk of it. 16 years of WoW for me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Goodness gracious. 16 years. It's a lot of years. I want to see what they do for 20 years. Me too. I can't... 
I always struggle to remember what particular things were what for what particular um, anniversary things. I know they've actually started doing it as a proper proper event these days, so it's you know, it's time what badges, there's the old um, classic bosses come back, and it's stuff like the world bosses come back, and it's stuff like that. I really like that. I really really enjoy that. And does is there an all track basin thing? No, I can't remember. I do remember the um, the, it was the um, the anniversary when they added in. Uh, I think it was the Molten Car one. I, there must have been the 10th anniversary, right? Surely. The one where they did 40-player Molten Car on LFR, which was awful. I only did it once. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they added it, but... Oh, caravan coming through. Thump, 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 thump. Fun fact, this thing doesn't even touch you if you are Alliance. Not even slightly. You can't jump on it, but, you know. It's not It's not an enemy. Oh, dear. No, I, I really... It, I loved it. Do you know what? I loved it, too. It was messy. It was a complete chaotic beastie. I was still playing on a laptop that could barely handle the game when I was on my own, let alone in a raid of 40 people. So I had an experience with that. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear me. But, yeah, it was, um, it was fun. It was messy and chaotic, and quite frankly, what better way to represent... Vanilla WoW over than messy and chaotic, right? It's, and everyone's on low power, power PCs. That's the, that's the vibe. It worked. And I think they did the... Um, was it a 40v40 as well for the... Um, the thing. What's the thing? The Tower and Mill and the uh, uh, South Shore. The PvP thing where it was like that. Where they, they were like, oh, here, mini PvP event where it's like Tower and Mill versus South Shore and, you know, you just run against each other and eventually someone wins or something. I can't remember what that was, but I think that was for that same anniversary as well. I feel like they did two of those things at the same time. But isn't that also a brawl now? I can't remember. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm actually imagining that. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. That last one, definitely true. I'm de <laughs> definitely not got a clue. Uh, dear, we are all hardies, aren't we, I think? There isn't there isn't any alliance with us. Yes, that's okay then. Okay, we shouldn't have any issues with um, regards to walking past hard enemies. We, we shouldn't normally. We did with... with tested the route on a variety of different characters to save for all, but um, we shouldn't have to worry about anything like that, which is nice. Ah, wonderful stuff. Slurp, slurp. Ah, wonderful. Demon Hunter's Alliance. The de oh, of course, because they're a night elf. Of course, right, sorry, yes. I Yeah, of course, right. So, well, everyone, when we get past, when we get to, like, hard areas, protect the night elf. <laughs> sorry, I am a silly dragon, aren't I? <laughs> Everyone protect the night elf. Ha hang on a second. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Everyone, the one with the moon above them is the night elf. Protect the night elf when we get to hard areas. Okay? Okay, good. Oh, especially because we're in undead. Forsaken areas as well. That's not... I feel like a night elf walking through silver pine is... It's, look, it's a very... It's just a very dangerous place for them to be, isn't it? Really? It's not... <laughs> have to hide me. It's okay. We'll keep you safe. Don't worry. We're, we are your... But look... If a night elf was walking through Silver Pine Forest, yeah, sure, the Forsaken would probably be aggressive. But if there was a Deathwing stood between them and the night elf, would they be aggressive or would they just quietly let it slide by and go, well, at least we aren't getting killed by Deathwing today? You know, is <laughs> I feel like Deathwing is a very, you know, a viable response, a viable defense even. Oh, wonderful. And if not, we can just scare them away with the spooky costumes at the back. Or oh, our wonderful Blood Elf here can try and do some negotiation tactics. We can, you know, we can figure it out. <laughs> we are a fully developed group, ready to tackle any sort of issue. <laughs> oh, heavens above. I love this armor set. It's gorgeous. Not to toot my own horn, but look at this helmet. The jaw makes me so happy. And they're like the dark and the red eyes. Oh, I wish I could get my eyes to, like, be like that in-game. I wish there was more, like, cosmetic things where it's like, wanna have fucky eyes? Sure, have fucky eyes. <laughs> I'd love that. That'd be great. My tea. I'm gonna say this, by the way. This is incredibly off-topic. My tea. It was, it was caramel nougat or something like that? I can't remember. Um, oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Sorry, my tea just went bloop, bloop, bloop. Um... It's not as sweet as it sounds. It, it sounded really sweet. And I was like, I can't find the hot chocolate. I want something sweet. This'll do. This'll be all right. Um, it's not quite as sweet as I thought it would be. But it's very nice. It's got a lovely taste to it. It's just a simple black tea, but lovely and flavoured. <laughs> Why do they have to go hiding? They're a night elf. Oh, in brackets. They're, 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 their costume is a night elf. It's <laughs> but I mean, no, they're, they're a night elf in the same way that I am a dragon and I'm currently walking alongside a blue elf. The usual stuff. Oh, Wait a second. Bears half, this is a message for you. I am a dragon, and you are a blood elf. 
this feels like we've flipped. It feels like we've swapped over. It feels like everything's gone a bit backwards. Are we okay? Do we need to like... <laughs> oh, heavens above. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, bloop, bloop, bloop. It's my Spyro mug. I love it very much. It's like Spyro's chest. And it's got like two little wings and the handles is like his spine slash tail. It's a, I'm describing it really weirdly. It sounds a bit scary, but I promise it's actually really cute. We do need to swerve. When we get to Forsaken High Command, we need to swerve. So I'm gonna, when we've when head past this thing, we're gonna sort of swerve onto the shore, if that's okay. If that's okay with everyone, we're gonna swoop swoop over to the shore. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, it's coming through. <laughs> All right, I love how the camera shakes when they walk by. They're proper stompy beasties, they are. I really enjoy them. We should have got a lift. No, we're here for a walk, not a lift. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna sort of edge around Forsaken High Command because it faces some people based on questing and stuff. And we're just gonna take a nice trip around the lake. Just just get some lake views in. Because, I mean, there's a creepy keep on the lake, of course. Oh, dear. Nightels have big teeth. Mm-hmm, they stick right, yeah, it's great. Ah, oh, wonderful stuff. All right, come on, you lot, over to the lake, walkie. <laughs> if, if we don't, it's totally okay. We'll end up, we'll meet up one way or another. It's just, now we can get a good look at the lake and also avoid potential facing. Also, apparently we're just walking through a battlefield. That's a totally normal thing. Alrighty. Uh, we do, our lowest character is level 20, so we shall protect the level 20 as well. Ghost stories. Yes, 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 ghost stories. Dispel ghost stories at, uh, at reckless abandon or at your desire or however you feel to. Look at the creepy keep. God, Shadowfang keep makes me so fucking happy. It was like my first, my I think my first dungeon was... What was my first dungeon? One of my first... I think the first random dungeon I did, like the first random group up and, and teleports you to a random dungeon, was um, Scarlet Monastery. The one where you start for the Headless Horseman fight, actually. A nice fireball. Excellent. Ooh, so good. Um, the one where it starts you for the Headless Horseman. I can't remember which Scarlet Monastery that is, but that one. And I ran in and I died and I got terrified and really sad and scared. And then, and then no one said anything and we respawned and carried on. It was a great fight. It was a good time. Uh, but I got terrified, which was fun, which was very fun. But um, Shadowfan Keep is one of my earlier dungeons. Of course it is, but it, it just really thematically gets me. I really love just going through a keep. It's so classic fantasy, and I just, I want it. I, it's so good. And then blah, 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 get to the job. Exactly, exactly. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bears my Spyro mug. It's got a tiny hole in the handle, like, but not in a way that it leaks, just in like a... It's got like an indent where the handle is inside the mug. So the water, or the tea in this case, goes into there. But basically when I tip it up, it sort of, it bloops in and out of there. Hang on, I'll try and do it into the microphone. <laughs> I really hope you heard that because that was a very fun noise. But yeah, when I like tip it up, it comes out of there. And when I put it back down again, it sort of like bloops through it somehow. It's great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hello, Wog. I'm very sorry, but you're kind of in the way. What if I, what if I, yeah, goodbye, Wog. <laughs> No, death and killed a walk. Shit. Ah, oh, blue blue blorp. Yeah, blue blue blorp. That's good stuff. Back in my day, there was no. Ah, I see Flicky has come in costume as a uh, classic veteran. <laughs> Don't need to be in costume when it's who you are. Oh, wonderful stuff. Uh, you, you did play classic, didn't you, Flicky? Oh, you, you said you played for 16 years. That definitely puts you in there, doesn't it? Also, hello, Darston. Sorry, I forgot to mention. <laughs> oh, there's a little frog. Oh, sorry, Toad. Hello. Wow, I bet amphi amphibian enthusiasts get really annoyed when people say call frogs toads and toads frogs. In a similar way, the people who care about reptiles would probably um, have mild frustrations when everybody mined the plague barrels, by the way. Mild frustrations when uh, people call alligators crocodiles and vice versa. <laughs> ah, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Blurp. Very big blurp, right? It's great. I love it. All right. So the gate's there. We are we are taking a route to avoid the gate, but that's just for... Um, originally, well, no, it, it, it doubles up. It has a dual purpose. We are avoiding um, play barrels or forbidden soda. Now, that's an attitude that gets you to join the Forsaken, quite frankly. Chug, no. No chug. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. Um, but yes, we're avoiding the gate. Initially, as like a making the route neutral friendly so alliance can you're not going to get killed by guards and stuff like that um but also we get to walk around the lake and this is a very cool lake what's it called lake the wet one <laughs> all right bit of trivia who the fuck knows what this lake is called it's called fenris isle the island in the middle is called fenris isle but what's the lake called is it lauderon lake is it the capital lake is it fenris lake anyone knows Throw it towards me. Throw, throw me. Throw me the information. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Lord of Mayhem. Oh, that makes so much sense. Of course it's called that. Oh, why the fuck would it not be called that? <laughs> it's Lord of Mayhem. Of course it is. Fucking hell. Thank you very much, Dustin. Getting itched to play WoW again, but I need RP to maintain my interest. That's fair. I haven't been playing too, too, too much. Oh, God, there's bears everywhere. Ugh. There's also a bear there, but this bear's disguised as a blood elf. <laughs> Strong as the mighty dragon Deathwing, I am, and I've got, I've got. D Deathwing is a um, one of the things about Deathwing is he's a father, so I've got a child flying after me. It's quite frankly, the child part is the spooky part of my costume for me. It's the oh god, <laughs> oh heavens above. Um, yeah, I haven't been playing WoW much recently at all. The only time I've really been playing is on stream and stuff because it's really, it's a nice chill stream time, and I, I, you know, a lot of people that watch my streams do play well it's 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 sort of the main you know the main tie between people sort of thing um but i do like playing well on stream i just haven't really been playing much off stream i've been playing a lot of eso that's been my my mmo of, of of choice at the moment all right i'll pause here for a second and let people catch up we don't want to run ahead we don't want to rush on yes <laughs> uh deathwing <laughs> no i won't eat peter peter is safe with me peter is very safe i will pat peter gently pat peter Peter, Peter is a safe rabbit. Oh, drowsy fantasy. Drowsy, drowsy fantasy. Has Peter met Mr. Fluffy Hins? It's okay if not. I'm just wanting to know. <laughs> Pixology. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, we've made it through. To oh, we're into Tirasfell. Oh, welcome to Tirasfell, everyone. Where the colour palette is distinctly a little bit more sickly green instead of like a dark green. Fun to know. Ah, oh, wonderful. Should play these boots with me for walking while doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I think we've had some phasing. Dun, dun, dun. Have we had some phasing or have we... Where's the... We're missing someone. We're missing a... Oh, no. Best hearth. Are you in old... Are you in the old version? Are you in old version? It's totally okay if you are. You can flip her on over to um, the dragon. I forgot to mention that at the start of the stream. I got phased. Are you in the, um, not the old version, the current version? Are you in the post-war version? I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention that at the start of the walk. Tell you what, everybody, would we like to have a moment to just uh, pause and we can wait for a second? Um, are you in the blown up version of Tourist Far Glades? I completely forgot to mention, if, if this is a zone that has a distinct phase, uh, if you talk to the Bronze Dragon, you should be able to flip back to this one and everything will be okay. Um... But yeah, that's something you need to... I'm so sorry I forgot to mention it. It's on the route and I I had it in my head as something that I needed to bring up. And then completely forgot to do that. I'm so sorry, Bear's Hearth. We shall wait here for you. There is no worry. We can take a moment to have a breather. We've got plenty of time. We've got all the evening ahead of us, quite frankly. But if you want to throw yourself towards the bronze dragon, whose name is Zidomi. Hi, Zidomi. Uh, they should be able to bring you back into our reality. <laughs> sorry about that, friend. I completely forgot to mention it. Mr. Fluffykins was the inspiration for Peter. <gasps> Met Mr. Fluffykins and wanted his own rabbit. Amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. Why is this guy getting darker and darker? It's nighttime, but also ghosts. <laughs> Two very different kinds of people, absolutely. I love the sky of Tirasfell. Tirasfell's a really weird kind of... It's a really weird kind of vibe, especially compared to Silverfine. Silverfine is like this dark, mysterious nighttime green, and then you get to Tira's Fowl, and it's like, what if everything was a little bit sickly instead? And you're like, uh-huh. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. It's really kind of fucky. Oh, the music of Tira's Fowl, the, the, the ambiance. What am I talking about? It's great, though. I love it. I really do. I'm going to get another drink of tea. Bleep, bleep. Ah, oh, heavens above. <gasps> dun dun dun! I see, I see a blood elf flying towards us. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Excellent. Oh, the friend rejoins. I'm so sorry, Bear's Hearth. I completely forgot to mention about that. I, that was one of the things I was like, okay, there's, some, there's a few key points on this walk that I need to, you know, mention or address. And nope, completely forgot to. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, heavens above! All right, how are we all doing? Oh gosh, we should really be protecting the. Hang on, let's. Point. I'm just protecting the uh, the night elf here with. <laughs> Yay, the Blood Elf returns! Oh, welcome yes. back, Blood Elf. We missed you. I'm so sorry, friend. Alrighty, are we all are we all good to carry on? You, you guys set off. I'll 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 I'll, um, I'll wobble alongside you. I, do, I don't I don't need to be at the front. It's okay. You guys go on. <laughs> I don't like being the leader at the front. What do you mean I'm organising this? No, 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 no. It's a communal. We all happen to walk in this direction at the same time, kind of thing. We're totally not. 
Oh, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Oh, look at you all. You're all so cool. You're all so cool. I love your outfits. I'm going to take another screenshot. I hope that's okay. Boop. Boop. Ah, the ghost is doing the jumps. That's great. I love it. Boink. Amazing. Amazing. Look at you all. Oh, yo. Tool tips. Calm down now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful shenaniganry. Oh, heavens above. I got a... Um, this is incredibly off topic. I got a... Um, Email from someone, no, it wasn't email, it was a job application form. I was looking through a job application form, and the reason why you could tell that this person would probably be a very nice person to work for is, A, the description for it was, like, very, like, just low-key low and chill. It's like, just be yourself, you don't have to be too formal or not formal. And then, and then, like, at the end of it, it was like, I'm hiring for shenanigans, and you're like, uh-huh. They meant a job, but they described it as shenanigans, and, like... Just a really, really chill vibe. I was like, ah, oh, this sounds nice. Oh, we have a ghost story. Dun, dun, dun. Do I have to read this? Of course I do, but, like, do I have to, like... I'm gonna... Okay, fine. I'm not gonna do a voice. I'm so sorry. Hate to disappoint, but I'm not. <laughs> there was once an orc and a blood elf who were friends. The blood elf, she always wore a pretty little ribbon around her neck. No matter what, rain or shine, cold or hot, without fail, she would wear the ribbon, and it would... It annoyed the orc to no end. They had been friends for a very long time. When they'd first met, the orc barely noticed the ribbon, but as they grew older, he saw it every day. It grew to bother him. Why do you wear the ribbon around your neck? The orc asked her every day, but she would never tell him. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. I mean, I'm excited to hear the rest. This is exciting. Oh. Don't ask me why, but I, for some reason, wasn't expecting it to be a WoW-themed story. Of course it is. We're literally... I, I don't know what I was expecting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, how are we doing on the route? How are we doing? We're heading this way. We're pretty okay. Funnily enough, there are no guards on the top side of Undercity. It really, you know, the top side is completely... I mean, obviously it's got the Hallow's End things going on at the moment, but it's not even like... It's it, it's it's obviously the entire city, the lived-in city, is the underground bit, is the sewers. They don't really do much top side. They've got some abominations near the lifts, but it's not like... I really enjoy that. It's, it's a funky vibe. I love it. Alrighty, two seconds. I'm just going to see if I can do something a bit silly. It will be a bit silly. I can guarantee it'll be a bit silly, but, you know, it's... <laughs> All this attempt at source bros. Do, 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 do. Just want to walk around. Oh, look at the green lights. Who wants to go to Wonder City? I want to go to Wonder City. I like Wonder City. We are all hot. Nah, we were okay. I don't think we want it. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a very pretty room. A very good point. Maybe it is just a very pretty room. Nah, we'll swoop by Wonder City. Goodbye, Wonder City. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You stay up on your hill and you do cool things or something. I love Under City. It's one. It's like the second city I ever saw in the game, and it terrified me. And I left it as soon as I entered it. I was. I thought it was a dungeon. I didn't know anything about the game. Still don't. But you know, <laughs> Under City is cool as fuck. I love. I just love it how it's like. Yeah, this is just a dead city, and also underneath it is the actual city. It's cool. And oh, have you ever ran around the top bit? Have you ever ran around the upside, the uh, the upstairs of Under City? It's fun. Like go run around some of the towers. Go fly. Go climb around. It's great. It's a cool place. I really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. Part of me wishes that they would start inhabiting it a bit. Oh, we do need to swoop by here. There's a little, a little hot. We don't actually, because we're all hardies. We should be okay, actually. We can just continue on the path. I'm going to say my original plan was there's a little uh, encampment here on the right. You can just see that tent there. We're going to sort of swoop around the path. We can just carry on. We don't need to worry about that. We can walk past this casual little forge and anvil. I don't know why, but apparently someone's made a works, a, a roadside smithy. I, do <laughs> I don't know why. No one's here to man it. No one's here to claim it. Fair enough, I'm not gonna do whatever works, eh? <laughs> hello, Roadside Smithy. And hello, um, the Death's Watchway Station. Mm. Cute, isn't it? It's cute, isn't it? It's cute. Alright, what am I looking for? Uh, that one, that one. Uh, mm, walk. Yes, excellente. Dun, dun. I'm gonna put on this one. Boop. There we go. Uh, oh, do I want this one? Yeah, I want this one, because I hate this one. No, I don't want that one. Ah, oh, wonderful. Bop. Hello, hello, hello. What's this doing here? This is the walk. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. But yes, just to bring that back up again, this is the route we have in mind, of course, when it's starting. So we're like... I was going to put my mouse on the screen to show you where it is, but you can't see that. That's the point. We're about halfway through. You can see where we are. We're, we're, we're here. Compared to there. Are we about halfway through? I mean, to be fair, no, we're not. I would say we're about a third in. The the bit where we go from... 
where we go sort of into... We spend a lot of time in the Western Playgrounds because it's not a straight through path. It's very forwards and then loop around. <laughs> it's wonderful, but it's not a straight through path. Not at all. I think we might stop for a five minute break at some point. Uh, how do we all feel about that, by the way? Just a quick pause while we have a little... <gasps> what is the... Hang on a second. Things... Oh, oh my God. Hi, Merkadin. Oh my God, hi, Merkadin. Oh, I forgot about Merkadin. Merkadin's cool as fuck. I like you, Merkadin. Oh, demon hunter with a pet demon hunter. It's great. Love it. All right, I think we're okay for the path. <gasps> a bronze dragon. Hello. Hello. Uh, he would ask her every day and every time. She would not answer. One day after asking, she finally said, one day I will tell you. Uh, finally, he would have his answers, but the wait would annoy him. He would have to be patient. He cared about his friend after all. One day after many years. Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Together, the Ark and the Blue fell in love and they got married. Fireball. <laughs> Casual sideways fireball. It's fine. It's normal. Oh, heavens. Uh, on the wedding night, he once again asked her about her ribbon. Her, her response surprised him. She began to cry and asked him, why does it matter? We're happy now. Ock realized it was right and such a silly thing should not bother her anymore. As they grew older together and adopted children together and grew into their old age together, he asked her once again. It was the first time the Ark had asked since their wedding. She looked at him and sighed. You have waited this long, my love. You can wait a, a while longer. The Okariki agreed and continued to wait. Is this going to be like... I don't know. I feel like this is going to be like twisted into just like, oh, it's a happy ending. That's the... <laughs> I'd be okay with that, you know. I'd be okay with that. Ah, dear. She's afraid that the Ock will steal her ribbon and wear it himself. That's a, that's a very good reason. Although that's a level of trust that you need. To, it's probably a good thing to have in a relationship. You know, trust that your partner will not just steal your ribbon. No matter how beautiful. It wasn't until the elf grew ill and was on a deathbed that the orc finally saw his chance and... Uh, okay, bit rude. <laughs> oh, you're dying. I see my chance to get a question from you. What? Excuse me. Um, finally saw his chance and asked once again, if, one more time, about the final time about the ribbon. She shook her head slightly amused as persistent, but then she sighed. Okay, you can untie it now. And with shaking hands, the orc fumbled with the knot and tied the ribbon around his, wife, oh, his wife's neck and her head fell off. Boom. There we go. It's not a happy ending. She's a fucking ribbon head? That's... What the fuck? <laughs> Interesting. I mean... See, here's the thing. If the story had been she was a forsaken, or some form of undead, the ribbon could have, like... <laughs> no one should want to take it off. Yeah, that's a fair reason to keep it on. It attaches the head. Fair enough. Quite frankly, the Orc is definitely the villain of this story. He's very persistent. He needs to learn to calm down about a ribbon. It's not that important. I mean, it is quite important, but, you know, it's... Uh, and the ungrateful husband wants to take it off you. I know, right? The quote, hang on, let me go back to it. Wasn't until the elf grew ill and was on her deathbed that the Orc finally saw his chance. Like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, no, my wife that I love and care about and I have children with and, you know, been in my life for so long, they're dying. This is my chance to get information from, like, excuse me, Orc, you absolute... The Orc is the true scary thing in this story. It's a <laughs> wonderful story. Thank you very much, Bersath. I appreciate your telling of it. It was wonderful. You probably said it in a much better way than I did. I fumbled over my words at least five different times. Oh, heavens above. That was wonderful. Thank you. Very spooky. <laughs> oh, dear. Trippin falls on his face, except he can't fall over as a ghost. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a little thump. Oh no. There's a dead bat. Poor thing. Poor thing. This is a topic change and a half. But has anyone seen Brian David Gilbert's latest thing? <laughs> does anyone does a Brian David Gilbert is a person who does videos on the internet and 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 he's done some Halloween y ones and they may or may not be spooky covers of ABBA songs and holy shit they're amazing. I love them. <laughs> they're so cool. Oh, heavens above. Heavens above. The first one that was uh, posted, what was it? It was um, Lay All Your Love On Me. Oh, what, 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 is it Lay On Your Love? What's that song called? Hang on a second. I'm going to look it up. I won't play it. Is it called Lay On Your Love? All your love? That one, anyhow. What's it called? Lay On Your Love On Me, that's it. Uh, performed by a vampire. It's very good. If you haven't checked about, I would recommend. They're really fucking weird. I love them. <laughs> they're great. And they're genuinely just really fun to listen to. Very good songs. Oh, dear me. Do ghosts even have faces? A very good question. This one doesn't look closely. Ah, oh, the wisps do, don't they? They're great. 
<sighs> Here's the thing, wisps and slimes in WoW are two things that both have faces, but you never realize it until you look closely. <gasps> look at the pumpkins! So are these pumpkins new for this year? Is this is this a new pumpkin model for this year? I haven't been paying too much attention, but they, they look new. I just, I can't remember if this is a this year thing or if it's a previous year's thing. I love them. They're gorgeous. Very beautiful, but I can't remember. What is the sound of a ghost falling in his face? Oof. It's just silence. It's just... <laughs> well, everyone, we've made it to the bulwark. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're at the bulwark. Should we take a moment to pause? How are we doing? Should we all... <gasps> campfire? Should we all go sit at the campfire? Hang on. Can we, can, we, can we take a moment to pause at the campfire? Is that okay? Can we, can we campfire? <gasps> campfire. Candy. <gasps> There's a bucket as well. Oh, we can apple bob. This seems like a great place to be um, <laughs> having a little bit of a wait. How are we all feeling about that? We could do some candy bucketing. We can do some apple bobbing. Oh, I've been turned into a mini Diablo. <gasps> I'm the size of Mercatin. Oh no, a slime with a face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm the size of Mercatin. Oh, the trolls in the... Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can Diablo share your bath? <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think you're supposed to bathe in the apple bobbing, but fair enough. It's... <laughs> oh, it looks like we're dowsing you, perfectly. I'm going to eat an apple as Diablo. Miniature Lord of Terror. What is this? I love it. It's so weird. It's such a bright model. Lighting? What lighting? I am Diablo. <laughs> Rawr. 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 <laughs> Hello, fellow slime. How are you doing? I am Diablo. Change it from a light inside the pumpkin to a uh, flat glowing yellow layer. That is true, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a small shame. Best news Diablo 1 model. Really? Oh, I love it. Amazing. God, those are some games I would love to get back into. I need to play me some Diablo soon. <sighs> Alrighty, how are we all doing? Um, I'm, are we okay to take a two-minute break? Are we okay to take a two- Ooh, Who wants to be a ghoul? Okay, hands up if you want to be a ghoul. And then, second thing, um, two-minute break? How's that sound? It is important when walking to take breath to- You can try that again, Brain. It's okay. What I was trying to say was when walking, it is important to take breaks or rests. However, my brain got stuck on those two words and decided to merge them into breasts. And apparently, when walking, it is important to take breasts. Good to know. Good advice. Anyhow, I feel like we have someone that may or may not want to be a ghoul. There we go. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Spooky. Amazing stuff. Going to take a quick break and relax. We are indeed. We're going to have a two, a two second breaky wakey. <laughs> Has anyone seen Helios? <gasps> I think he might have been I think they might have been slimed. I think, I think, I think slime. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. Right. I'm going to get up for a second and stretch my back because I'm up tired after all this walking. You know, oh, oh, heavens above. Alrighty, I will be two seconds. I'm going to have a, a quick stand up and a quick break, a quick pause and a quick breather. If anyone else needs to do the same, if you need to stand up, if you need to um, stretch, if you need to blink for a bit, look away from the screen, get a drink, whatever you need to do, maybe now's a good time to do it. But um, otherwise, do it if you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. It's blorp, blorp, I am a slime. And with that parting advice, I'll be back in a few minutes. Blorp, blorp, I am a slime.
Okie dokie. Hello? Ha ha. Hello? Hello? I've returned. <laughs> Hello. I'm back. How are we all doing? Are we all well? Are we all good? I think we are. Oh, we are. Oh, we're doing all right. All righty. <laughs> hello? Hello, Dustin. How, how are we? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, heavens above seas. Right. I think we're good. I think we're good to carry on. How are we all doing? I'm awake. We're here. We're back. We're good. Let's pop over to this screen. Wonderful stuffs. <laughs> oh, dear me. Wonderful stuffsies. Right. Okay, a slipper tea. Slip, 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 and a blop, blop, blop. Did my nefarian just blow fire? Well, breathe fire. Dragons tend to breathe fire, not blow fire. What? <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, Helos is a slime. Blop, blop. Gotta be a slime for the next 53 minutes if they're not careful. <laughs> Alrighty, how do we feel about carrying on? Are we all good to make a move? I'm gonna go stand next to the campfire. This shall be my getting ready position. Make sure we're all back. Don't wanna leave anyone behind or around. We're, 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 we're good to, we're good to wobble. I'm just gonna stand over here. And then when anyone's ready, they can wobble on over. Hello. But there's no pressure. There's no worry. There's no rush. We're okay. <laughs> ah, dear me. <laughs> Dust. Then perish. <laughs> oh, Wonderfy. Wonderfy? Mm. Brain, I appreciate your words, but that was not one of them. Is Elf? It is Elf. Is Elf. Our enemies will fall. Apparently our enemies will fall. Hello, Anaria Elf. Shola. Anaria Shola. I will have my revenge. Melha do Me Mehla Mela 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 Dawnblade will have their revenge. We Good will to know. have justice. They have very pretty armor. I like it. It's a great color scheme. It's very bright and bold and beautiful. It's wonderful. I love it. I love it. What a great elf. Shame I'm a dragon. Yes, goodbye, elf. Victory lies ahead. Be well. The elf said that victory lies ahead, and very true words, very true words. Victory lies ahead on our walk. That that basically means that we're gonna have a really cool walk. We're not gonna have any issues. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing stuff, Caesar. Alright, are we all good? Are we all good? We're not leaving it behind, are we? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Sorry, I just don't know. Oh. Why are there piles of skulls here? What's this about? I know the Forsaken like creepy things, but keeping around literal piles of skulls just seems a bit much. It seems like taking the aesthetic a bit too far. And I don't think these are Hallow's End thing. I think these are literally just here all the time. I think... I think the Forsaken maybe need to turn it down a bit in some parts. They're a little bit... What if we had piles of skulls? Okay, but like, do you clean these skulls? Are they like hygienic or are we spreading disease? Like, what do we... <laughs> I think Forsaken actually quite enjoy spreading disease, don't they? Some of them, never mind, let's not... Oh, we've got another story. Hang on, I'm going to make my uh, font size a tad bigger so I can... I can probably see what I'm reading. <laughs> Scroll the chat window. There we go, there we go. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Welcome to the Western Plaguelands, by the way. People voted this the scariest route zone on the route. Looks quite pleasant to me, to be honest. Oh, uh, did a jump. We're going to head towards Anderhal. And when we get to the path of Anderhal, we're going to head towards it and then just completely skirt around it because it's a big, it's a big old phase place, is Anderhal. It's very phased. It's very, <laughs> there's a big battle there. There's all sorts going on. It's terrifying. It's very phased. <clears throat> Next story, if you will. There was once a Vopewa caravan traveling the world when they stumbled upon a Zandawawi. Who, <laughs> Zandawawi, I'm so sorry. Uh, who was looking for a way to desire a war. The Volpera, being the kind-hearted soft people, they pulled over and offered the Zandawawi a ride. He thanked them for their kindness and climbed into the caravan. Caravan. <laughs> oh, heavens above, I'm so sorry. I said, where have we gone, where have we gone? Uh, anyway. He gave the name of the district he was heading to. I'm going to stop ooing now, I'm very sorry. The music's great, isn't it? Oh, I love this place. It's such a cool place. It's a gorgeous zone. I wouldn't say it's the spookiest, but it is a really wonderful zone. I really like Western Blake. It's, it's great. It's great. It's very human, and I actually quite enjoy it, which is not normal. <coughs> Gave the name of the district he was heading to. The journey was delightful, and the Vulpera were very good hosts, sharing their food and water with the Santillari. But after some time, Santillari fell silent. Not wanting to push him, Vulpera let him sit quietly until they reached a turning on the road. They hadn't come to this part of Santillari before, so uh, turned to ask the Santillari for reductions to find their caravan empty of the Santillari. Dun dun dun! He had vanished without any trace. Eventually, they figured out how to get to the place the Zandalari requested upon arriving and knocked on the door. The door was answered by an elderly troll couple, and the Volpira tried to explain what had happened. 
Trolls didn't know who the mystery Santa Lari was, but their own son had died in battle many years ago. In the same area, the Vulpira had found the Santa Lari. <gasps> bwam, bwam, bwam. I think I know them. Oh, no. <laughs> <gasps> That's spooky. Bum, bum, bum. Apparently there's a dig site here. Archaeologists, keep this field in mind. What have we got? Is it fossil? Is it human? Is it human? I don't think humans have dig sites, do they? What's, what have we got? Fossil field. It's a. It's the Fellstone fossil field. Good to know. You can get a mountain out of that if you're, not, if you, if you're careful. Oh, lucky. <laughs> get a fossilized raptor. I still don't have that mount, you know. I'd love to get it. Fossilized raptor. I think it's called the fossilized raptor. Hang on a second. For... Foss. Yeah, we got a fossilized raptor. It's a gorgeous beast, isn't it? Wish I had it. Wish I had it. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. What was the description of it? Hang on, what was that? Sorry, you mentioned Tarand. Legends tell of a spell placed upon a hunting raptor who dared to snarl at young Tarand Whisperwind as she bathed in the jungle pool. The beast is cursed to wander Azeroth until it apologizes. <laughs> uh huh. Didn't realize Tarand could do curses. Good for her. Good for her. Alrighty, so we're heading up to the crossroads now exciting there are these alliance fox hunters and their um bull mastiffs which are hostile and i believe everything will be level 30 here so we might want to watch out for our ghost at level 20 i think i think i think i think we want to we want a little oh all safety all safety i should have maybe brought a character that has ranged attacks because all i can do is throw my weapon i guess i can throw i can not to be fair i can throw my weapon that's the thing i can definitely do let me let me pop that on there so i can do it a bit more easily we go. We can, we can stay safe. We're going to protect the protect the Murloc. <laughs> and the moon. Murloc and the moon. The Murloc on the moon. That sounds like a little fable, doesn't it? <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, heading this way, everyone. Heading this way. Turning right. And we're going to say goodbye to you. And then say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Bull Mastiff. And goodbye. Oh. Apparently I'm walking. I'm running now. <laughs> oh, dear me. Have one involves the death of a hunter's pet. Ooh. Is anyone not okay with that? And it's very okay with it if they're not okay with it. All right, so above us, or in front of us, is Anderhal. We are going to avoid it because, as I mentioned, phasing, phasing awful. So we're going to head, head off into um, what appears to be some sort of unmarked graveyard, which is fun. Let's just walk through this casually. All right, we can, uh, I'll, I'll pause for a second to make sure everyone's with us. But yes, we're going to head this way and basically avoid the city. We're going to loop around the city where possible and then go for a swim in a lake. Everyone okay with that? Everyone okay with a little splash? <laughs> And it's okay with me. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm okay, but if anyone is not, it's absolutely okay. Please raise your voices. Let it be known, and we shall not tell the story. It's very okay. I'm going to get a drink. My tea's going cold. It's a shame. It's a big... Oh, oh no. <laughs> My tea went big blob there, and it spilled a bit. Oh, dear. I can't so and so will have to carry me. That's okay. I have a two-person mountain. I can carry you. Oh. See, I like I like Western Plaguelands, but then there's the Alliance Fox Hunters, which ew, and their Bull Mastiffs, which carry around dead foxes sometimes, which also ew. It's very sad. Also, there's a grave here. Anybody fancy every? Okay, hang on, wait. Oh, why do I? I start running when I loot things. Everybody, beware the beware the beware the grave. We appear to have a mass grave here. Everyone, just avoid it. Do not, please, no, don't fall in the grave. Pli Flicky, <laughs> I can see you running straight up. The slime has gone. The slime has. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. The slime has gone in the grave. Oh dear. <laughs> Slimy grave. It's not a trampoline. You're not supposed to. Do you know what? It's fine. <gasps> oh, heavens above. There we go. Sorry, just getting rid of some uh, undesirables. Oh dear. Oh heavens. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll wait for you guys outside the grave. Glorp. Oh no. Slime go glorp. Not very fun. We got to carry on. Sorry, slime went glob and my drink went glob. Am I drinking slime? Questions for the mind. <laughs> Hello, bear friend. <gasps> Be careful. It's not that friendly of a bear. It's also a diseased bear, apparently. Oh, don't catch any bear. Ah, okay. So we have. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Deathwing will protect you. Yoink. There we go. Deathwing keeps you safe. Don't worry. Deathwing is a very wonderful and um, benevolent dragon, beastie creature. Loot the bear. Loot the bear. <laughs> Oh, poor bear. Poor bear. Oh, we're doing circles around the bear. We're doing circles. I repeat, we're doing... <laughs> poor bear. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Safety first, thank you. None of that. None of that. Boop. There we go. Everyone's safety. Being in character. Oh, no. <laughs> what, being a troll? No, an elf even, sorry. Running towards a bear and then getting attacked by it and then going, oh, no. 
being attacked by a bear. <laughs> uh, yes, comes back. You breathe fire on you. Do we reckon slimes are flammable? Do you reckon slimes have big should have big stickers on them that say warning flammable substance? Like, do you, for some reason, I look at a slime and I think that looks like it's flammable. Like, it looks like it would be a flammable object, no? All right, this is the lake. We're going for a little bit of a splish splash. If anyone is not being um, okay with splish splash, um, feel free to ride my mount. And I shall splish splash you across. What's my, what's my, what are we going for? What are we going for? Type uh, passenger. If anyone wants a journey across, hop on the Meccano Hog. Oh, the Zeppelin. I was going to just ride across it. I've got water walking, so I was just going to take a nice ride. <laughs> How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Are we all all right? Okay, where's where's the slime? Oh, is the slime in, oh the slime's there. Slime's going the long way. All right, engine revved. Let's go. <laughs> do 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 do. What do you mean you don't ride your motorbike across the water? I always do that. I. <laughs> An excellent journey. Where's the slime? I'm worried that we've lost the slime. Where's our slime? <gasps> the slime. The slime slurps. Oh my god, that slime is invisible in the water. <laughs> blorp blorp flurp. Oh no. <laughs> Ah yes, the elves are thanking each other for their journeys. <laughs> Thank you, elf. No worries, elf. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows it's a very normal cultural thing for all elves to just announce that they are an elf all of the time and talk to their fellow elves with the word elf at the end of every cent. I mean, I, I'm i an elf. I do that all the time. It's, it's a very elvish thing. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Hi, bear. Oh, these ones aren't even diseased. They're just bears having a nice time. Poor things. Anyhow, that was Anderhal. We went around it, found the grave. <laughs> think we lost Helios back there. Oh, no. Do you think Helios was eaten by the slime? I, oh. <laughs> I think we found Helios. They appear to be inside the slime. <laughs> but that means I will eat you. No, we're not eating. <laughs> We're not eating the slime. Oh my god. Everyone get your forks ready. Takes out a straw. See, I was going for a fork. I was thinking it was more of a jelly-like substance, but I think a straw would work. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <gasps> dun dun dun. Bah. Goodbye, bear. <laughs> blurple, blurple. Oh no, the slime. <laughs> Listen, I'm an elf. I know it's hard to believe, but I am an elf. Elf, 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 elf. The more times you say elf, the more of an elf you are. It's true. It's true. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry. It's just the law. The elvish law. What the fuck am I talking about? There's a little feather on the road there. Oh. An elf with big teeth. Very much so indeed. And that's okay. <laughs> Alrighty. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Alright. So we're going to ignore Chill Wind Camp. For it is a uh, alliance base. Therefore scary. As we are all. Um, I was going to say hardies. But let's just say. Um, potentially endangered if we go towards there. And we're going to head towards Uther's tomb. We're not going to visit Uther's tomb. Oh, we can't you want to, but we're going to skip to this sort of uh, mausoleum bit and then go straight past it and across this little waterfall -y bit here. That's the plan anyhow. Anyway. That's the plan. That's the the jive. The the jive? What the fuck? <laughs> a very fan fashion conscious elf. Of course, of course. All elves are. No, not all. Just a, just a few. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm going to get a drinky. I've run out of tea now. I'm just onto water, which is good, but you know. I checked them off on the break, but thank you very much, Flicky Dicky and Drowsy Fantasy, for the hydrate and posture check, respectively. Very appreciated. Bear, you stay safe by dying. Not very nice to these poor bears. These poor bears, they're just having a nice time, and then someone had to organise a bloody walk through them. <laughs> they're poor things. Oh. <gasps> Our ghost has turned into a, uh, a ninja, apparently. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Just got an art piece I commissioned back. <gasps> That's always a very exciting time. Oh my god. Tell me all about it, please. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to, but like, oh my god, that sounds exciting. Getting, oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a really cool feeling. That's like the best feeling when you're like, oh my god, I can laugh. Is this so good? I like it. It's great. It looks amazing. <gasps> that's great. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. That's like, that's honestly one of the best feelings in life. Hunter Pet Stories, clever telling. Seems to be, yes. Absolutely, yes. Fire away as you so desire. Ooh. Chillwind camp, everybody. Let's politely avoid Chillwind camp. Oh, it's a black cat, apparently. Just skating around the place. Go bless it. Go bless it. Alrighty. Oh. I think our night elf may have become a dwarf somewhere along the line. Interesting. Let's... <laughs> That's a normal thing. Oh, wonderful. Uh, hang on a second. Do you think I could... If I... And then... 
Eh, that was slime. I'm still an elf, right? Yeah, no, sorry, of course. When I said my night, uh, the night elf, I meant the night elf is still a night elf. They just have taken off their high heels. Everything's fine. All right. Uh, why am I radioactive? Why am I just decisively more radioactive than the other slime? What's this all about? <laughs> oh, no, it's a slime leading the slime. This is terrifying. All right, slime onward. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Oh, oh my God. Okay, but like breaking all characters right now, but flicky. I've never seen a more attractive elf in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> screenshot, 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 screen. <laughs> flicky. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay. <clears throat> it's my new healer, ne healer necromancer. That's a delightful combination. Oh my heavens. Lysander. Never played a spot character for. Here I am. Not put any points in any combat skills. Play him as a pacifist, even if he's a complete, but oh my god, he sounds amazing. He's. A healer necromancer. Mwah. That's perfect. That's per I'm sorry, but that's just the perfect thing. Also, welcome to Sorrow Hill. Spooky AF. We've got withdrawn souls. Ooh. We've got ghostly background music. We've got some graveyards, some tombs. No one's going to kill you here, but it's very spooky. Blorp. Big blorp noises. We're all slimes. We're all slimes. Apparently I'm radioactive. Why am I glowing? It must be the, the mirror effect. Just thirsty for shirtless elves. I am any elf, but especially thir shirtless ones, yeah. Oh, you know what, Flicky? I, I changed my mind. This is a clearly more attractive elf you've got going on here. I'm so sorry. Now the tour guide's gone missing too. <gasps> is that what I am? My tour guide? Oh, do I get a fancy hat? For some reason, I imagine that all tour guides get fancy hats. I don't know why. That's just like a thing. Bloop. There we go. Tour guide has reappeared. This is my fancy hat, to be fair. It's quite fancy. I love it. It's such a gorgeous helmet. It really, it really makes me show, ha sh show happy. So happy. Alrighty, so Uther's tomb on the right there. Very beautiful, very sad, very memorially. There's a. Uh... Hmm, interesting. Hello, Miranda the Hag. These are dangerous times, adventure. Walk lightly. Very Everybody, well, walk lightly. Miranda says so. The Hag. <laughs> oh, slimes ate them. Fought slimes are vegetarians. Oh, oh no. Dage will gel with you. No, you can't bar me. <laughs> Called cold flesh removes the need to sleep and can take a lot of damage. Doesn't feel pain. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. What a cool fantasy. That's cool as fuck. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. Uh, Magic, you can uh, run through being inconvenience to have me pain. Yeah, it's just, ugh, this again. Not the, stop attacking me, really. I, I don't feel anything. This is pointless. Just please. <laughs> more, more annoyed than anything. That's cool as fuck. I love that. It's the shirtless parade to the fruit as well. It is indeed. I might join the shirtless parade. Hang on. There we go. Shirtless Deathwing. That's what... <laughs> I've changed my costume mid-stride. <laughs> Can you stop stabbing my kidneys, right? It's not like it's going to do anything. It's just an annoyance. You're wasting everyone's time. Please, just... <laughs> oh, wonderful. Tits out for... <laughs> Tits out for tourist fell. That's the... Yep, I believe it. I, I'm... Mm -hmm. <laughs> He lets us back, he will cook all the slimes. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna roast them and toast them. And we can have slime cocktails or slime juice smoothies? Slime smoothies. Oh, slime smoothies. That's a much better word. Why didn't I say slime smoothies? Slime smoothies for all. So I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I liked my costume, but suddenly now that I've taken my shirt off, it has got ten times better. It really has. How do you cook slimes? Uh, in a blender usually works best, I'd say. Um, although, is it really cooking if you're just blending them? Everyone. I propose that we take a step atop this mountain and a moment to just appreciate this view. Slimes movie, I can feel my insides being dissolved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a gorgeous view this is. Oh, Scholomance. So spooky. I love it because we're just in this kind of lush green area. Everything's got a bit better, a bit less spooky. And then and then you just see the Scholomance in front of you. And then the plague lands over there with the mushrooms. And you go, oh, no. Oh no, we're walking towards danger. <laughs> oh no, I'm in danger. <laughs> look at you all, look at you all. God, you're so cool. Amazing stuff, right? Onwards, apparently I've opened my back, didn't mean to. We have, we have the, oh shit. <laughs> Everyone be careful, there's a bit of a drop there. There's a bit of an incline. There's, it's not quite. <laughs> Whee. It's a slide, that's what it is. Amazing stuff. All right, we're going to head to the top of the waterfall. We're going to rock hop across or take a zeppelin, however is appropriate. Uh, and then we're going to do a lovely loop all the way around Scholomance. And then we're going to head to this fly point. We're going to loop all the way around. And we're going to get to here, stick to the river, go up to the bridge. And away we go. It's all plain sailing after that. It's just a road. 
This is the off-road section. Mm -hmm. I mean, cross the river however you wish to. I'm going to head for the um, the step, like the stones at the top of the waterfall. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> there was once a little boy who was very afraid of the dark. He was so afraid of the dark that eventually his parents decided that the only way he would get to sleep is, was if the father's hunter companion slept alongside the boy. At night, the hunter would send the beast, scroll, 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 into the boy's room and the beast would lay on the bed alongside the boy. When the boy's fear grew too much, the beast would lick the boy's hand to reassure him and it would comfort the boy. One night, the boy wakes to the sound of a strange and unknown dripping down. Scroll, 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 scroll. Instinctively, he reaches down and feels the beast lick against his hand. The instantly calms his down and he falls back to sleep again. The next morning, he wakes to screams as his parents are standing in his doorway. I need to focus on rock hopping. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. <clears throat> Sorry, yes, screams. Parents are standing in his doorway. He looks up to find the beast hanging from the ceiling. Oh no, dripping blood to the ground. On the wall, written in blood, someone had written, People can lick too. Oh no. <laughs> It's only a story. That one is scary. Yeah, that one's the spookiest one so far. I don't like. Hey! <gasps> Helios has returned. No longer a slime. And also joined the Tits Out for Tirasval campaign. Good. I pray. <laughs> I like this campaign. It's great. I don't know what cause it serves, but I like it. <gasps> oh, dear me. Yeah, no, that one was the creepiest one so far, but it's half. Dear me. <gasps> Everybody, brace yourselves. Before us is a wild beastie known only as the Husk. Shall we leave the husk to wander politely, or shall we murder it because it's got a silver dragon around it and therefore it may have cool things? I think we do that option. I think we pretend we could leave the husk, or we could murder the husk. What do we feel about the husk? Maybe, maybe we walk around. Oh, the husk is pretty. Oh, the husk's walking towards us. Oh no! <gasps> the husk is frozen. We can avoid the husk peacefully. The husk is fucking dead. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, the poor husk. Hang on, everyone. Everyone, respectfully loot the husk. <laughs> so sorry, husk, that you had to die. Definitely gonna loot your body, though. Sorry about that. Sorry, 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 the husk. <laughs> we frost-trapped him in everything. Oh, no. Progression of events. It really, it really went, oh, no, there's the husk. It's okay, we can avoid it. We've trapped it, so it's definitely gonna be out of the way. Never mind, it's been set on fire and it's dead. Oh, my God, the poor thing. It's... <laughs> Things just scaled up. It went from 0 to 100 real quick. It was a sad saga. It was indeed, and it ended with a fireball to the face. The poor husk. <laughs> oh, dear. A sad guy, if you will. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, serves so the cause of uh, watering the crops of anyone nearby. Absolutely. Solving world thirst. Absolutely. Actually, it does solve world thirst, but if, in my case, it actually creates more thirst, so I'm a little bit... <laughs> Maybe, maybe we're doing the opposite. Oh no, maybe we're causing more problems. <gasps> oh no. I mean, it definitely creates thirst for me, but that's... I, I'm a, a lover of the shirtless elves. I'm a... Quite frankly, most shirtlesses is... I don't want to fright of spiders. I am, but only, like... I'm only a little bit afraid. I'm okay with stories involving spiders. Taking on the thirst of us is so selfless. I know, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so... I'm so, so giving, so generous, so... Oh dear, look, any opportunity to have my character shirtless is just always thirsty. Hey, I do always have a giant water bottle by my side. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm sorry. You're not wrong. You, I, you're you true. <gasps> shirtless. <clears throat> Everybody, this is Scholomance. It is, is it Scholomance or Sholomance? How do we, how do we, how do we, how do we words it? How do we words it? It's spooky as fuck. That's what it is. Let's take a moment to be terrified by it. Oh, oh. It's scary. Stralomance. I love it. I'm proud of it. Well done. Well done. Should we go take a trip? Let's go peep. Uh, let's go pop our heads in real quick. Let's just go peekaboo and then turn around. <laughs> just over the bridge so we can say we went there and then we can run around. Stralomance is amazing. That's why I play Wagon in built in RP that they tend to end up shirtless. Absolutely. Mwah. Perfection. Oh, shirtless Wagon. I have a Wagon. They're level, like, 12 or something. I need to level them and play them a bit. But they're, like... <laughs> they only wear, like, really ragged trousers. Hang on, what, what's the appearance? What's the appearance? It's the Brawler's Guild one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. These Brawler's leggings. They only wear these Brawler's leggings. <laughs> and they're quite... Yeah. And then they dual-wield maces. And, and that's it. They just they just dual-wield maces and they wear them. And they're bright white. And they're really fluffy. And they've got a tawny or anything. And they just run around with that. And I love them. They're great. They're great. I love them so much. It's my favorite character. One of my favorite characters. I have many, but I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. 
<laughs> well, I wear shirts anyway. It's, honestly, I mean, what's the, you know, especially if you're a Walgren, what's the point? <laughs> well, everyone, this is Charlemance. It's spooky. We can now say that we've been here. Anyhow, <laughs> I shall wait by the gates for everyone to complete their business here, and then we shall humble on the way. But there's no rush. Take your time. I claim this for Silvermoon. Ah, acting like a true blood elf now. Walking up to random things that people definitely live in and going, this is mine now. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Allergic to shirts. I really, yes, absolutely. It's a genetic, it's a genetic thing. Um, uh, this character, Stroll, uh, has a father. The father is also uh, shirtless. It is a genetic thing. It's passed down. It's, it's <laughs> what are we claiming? The candy? Yeah, we're claiming the candy. That's what we're doing. Dungeons don't have trick or treat boxes, do they? I don't know. Don't think so. Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait here for everyone to return. It's spooky as fuck here. Jesus Christ, Scholomancers, Scholomans. I mean, no one appears to be here currently, but they have managed to implement some pumpkins. Good for them, you know. Whoever operates this location. Ah, oh, wonderful. Absolute himbo. Absolutely loot himbo. Ah, Bobby loot. People in the shirtless gang. All right, carry on. Mmm, candy. I agree. I agree. True Elven thing would uh, would be that the shirt contain contains and constra constrains. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, my magical prowess for top efficiency. I need to be top efficiency. <laughs> need to be shirtless. Absolutely. That's the. It's it, there are there are actually very serious law reasons as to why I am always shirtless. My power is in my chest. And therefore, it needs to be exposed. Otherwise, I will explode. That's actually, yeah, mm -hmm. real, real reason. Uh, <laughs> look, if I roleplayed, I would find a reason. I would find a reason why my character had to be shirtless all the time. You know, it's, <laughs> I'd find a reason. Through the skin, they require minimal clothing, or they will suffocate. That's exactly it. Top efficiency. Ironic, considering no elf is. To <laughs> well done. Well played. That's <laughs> perfection. Amazing stuff. I, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> Look, some elves could be. In theory, if they... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Everyone lost their shirts. I think the slime saw it. I think the slime did, but the slime has disappeared. Which is good because it, we've returned our Helios to us. However, I think they took the shirts with them. I think they took the shirts with them. <gasps> they're, they're, they're another shirtless elf. Amazing. Amazing. Proud of you all. Shirt contains and constrains my fast rider prowess. For top efficiency, I need to be shirtless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I heard that, you know. I heard that. That, that I think I heard that's a law reason. <laughs> Amazing. Look at you all. Of course, by the way, I would like to stress it is totally, totally... You do not... You do not feel pressured into being shirtless. But also, God bless. Oh, heavens above. All right. Shirtless Deathwing. Here to stay. Wonderful stuff. Quality. It's it's quality. It's quality. Shirtlessness. Nessness. 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 <laughs> oh, wonderful. All right, I'm gonna get another drink. I am very thirsty, but that's. I mean, you knew that. All righty. Should we look at the map again? How are we doing? Where are we at? I mean, we're clearly in the middle. Yeah, well, I think we're over halfway now. The bit through, well, when we get into Eastern Plaguelands, we'll be on the final straight, because Eastern Plaguelands, it is pretty much follow the road, and then you get there. There's one, that's not the right button. That's not, that's the right button. There we go. That's my 4-3 cover, if we want to pretend that we're <laughs> playing this game in 4-3. I don't, <laughs> mm, yes, perfect. This is how you World of Warcraft, correct? Not quite what I had in mind. Oh, dear me. No wonder my goblin friend who makes a living selling shirts went bankrupt. Oh, no. I believe I wasted two hunter pets. That's for a joke. What do you mean wasted? What do you mean wasted? Halderon and Kelthaus are not are not wasted. How de <laughs> wasted? I think you've found the perfect things to fill this. That's what you think. Oh, wonderful. Shirts are so last year. Everyone that's cool is going shirtless these days. That's what I heard. That's right. Cool people are also allowed to be not shirtless. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's the best reason to do it. There's a really bad slime following us when you went away for a moment. Yeah, there was. It's okay. It's okay. The slime's gone now. May have taken a few shirts with it, but the... the <laughs> Bury them deep at the back of my still so no one will find them. Oh, no, the guilt. The guilt. You can't hide away your secrets forever. It's the skeleton in the closet. It's the... It's the lynx and the manworm in the closet. It's the... <laughs> 
I appreciate the dedication. I appreciate the effort. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Oh, Demi. Actually, do you know what? For a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as we continue our journey, I'm gonna just uh, turn into my true form because I am Deathwing. I'll be running around in my humanoid form. I'm gonna turn into my full dragon form because there's no one around. You know, we're probably in the most isolated part of this route behind Sholomance on some random coast. No one's here. No one's anywhere near here. I can I can be my true dragon self without scaring anyone. Deathwing has arrived. <laughs> oh no, the slime ate my clothes. An elven novel. <laughs> An elven novel with an age rating, perhaps, yes. <laughs> An elven novel that is kept on a specific bookshelf in a specific corner of specific bookshops. I, yes. I would like to read it. That's all I'm going to say. Look, if that novel exists, send me a link. I want to... <laughs> Oh, dear me. Yes, Deathwing's arrived. Look. Rawr. Look, Deathwing go rawr. Deathwing not go rawr like that. That's not how Deathwing rawr. Whoops. Mm. Uh, okay, Deathwing go rawr. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. But, like, it's a polite rawr. Deathwing is, like, really cheery and nice and friendly and happy and totally not an issue. Deathwing's, like, really happy and healthy. I don't remember, and I say remember, this is not a thing I experienced, this is an earlier thing I heard about and saw footage of. But was anyone around, uh, was it the Cataclysm pre-patch? I think it must have been the pre-patch. Where Deathwing was flying around the world and, like, scorching everything. I think it was Eastern Plague Lands and some other zones and stuff, but, like, okay. randomly Deathwing would appear and just, like, set fire, like, just breathe fire in a giant line across the zone and just, like, kill everyone. It would literally kill everyone. Was that a thing that happened? I'm sure that was a thing that happened, but what was that? Was that the pre-patch for Cataclysm? I remember seeing footage of that and I was like, that's so fucking cool. I'm so happy that that happened. That's great. That's amazing. Deathwing has since then, um, not, not done that. He's, he's turned, he's, he's, he's changed his ways, you know? Pre-patch for Cataclysm. Yeah, I remember that? Ah, oh, amazing. I was there. Look you all. I joined in mists, so I was not there, but I'm very glad that that happened and that sounds cool as fuck. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Someone machine washed Deathwing. Yeah, he's he's been he's been changed now. He's fine. He's good. Oh, that's the achievement for it. Yeah, get killed by Deathwing. Apparently, I have completed this in 2014. Hmm. 2011. Oh my gosh. That's where it was. That's what it was. <laughs> Wait, how have I completed that? It must be get killed by Deathwing in any sense. Surely the raid or something would have counted towards that. I don't know. Apparently I've got killed by Deathwing. I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'll get on right again. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, said Lothar Anthra. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of far comma fame. The slime has eaten all my clothes. A great start. I cannot wait for the rest. <laughs> wonderful stuff. Oh, Lil Nefarian. Once again, the Lord of Blackrock. Good for Lil Nefarian. Oh, wonderful stuff. My back is like... It's fine, I just need to make sure I'm sat in a good position, and I'm currently not. I love the way that Deathwing walks. He's very bobby, very up and downy. He's a babe. He's a babe. And really, this was an anniversary mount as well, wasn't it? The Obsidian Worldbreaker. Cool as fuck that they were like, hey, what if you had a mount that basically looked like Deathwing? Hmm? Good stuff. So thank you for the posture check, Blicky Dicky. I needed it. <laughs> dragons are friends of dragons. Dragons are friends of dragons. Dragons are friends. This is all good, yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're definitely in Eastern Plague Lands. No, no, we're not apparently, but we're heading towards. We're definitely going to pop into it any second now. Things we need to know about this situation, this area, is we are currently down here on the coast. We're going to make our way along the coast, trot along here, around here. We're going to stick to the coast as much as possible because there's a few areas, especially here, where we will need to walk past enemies. Things get a little bit dangerous around those areas. There's, there's a lot of enemies in these hills that are up there, some up there, that are the big scary. Oh, we've got a spooky skeleton. Music here is spooky as fuck. I love it. I love Eastern Playgrounds. It's so mushroomy and plaguey. It's great. I love it. But yes, there's some there's some up here you can just see on these death step people with their big death step somethings. And there's also some plague dogs, I think. Anyhow, they are spooky. They are scary. They are dangerous. So we're going to avoid them where possible for, for the sake of our, um, our lower levels. Reminds me of Morrowind. Do you know what? It does with the mushrooms. Holy shit. And like sort of the, the almost ashy looking sky, the, the thick looking sky. It's almost got like a volcanic ash feel to it. It's great. Yeah, I didn't even think of that before. That's cool. Also, apparently there's just a corner of a building here. What the fuck? <laughs> Someone live out here? Oh, bless. 
maybe this is where Uther hung out. Didn't Uther have a house somewhere when he was like, was it Uther? I think it was Uther when he was like, I'm going to live alone now and be friends with an orc or something. I can't. Oh, look, I read a book ages ago and I've yet to remember which book it was or what it was about, but I'm sure there was a book where Uther was like, I'm going to live alone and there's orcs or something. I don't know. I don't know. Did he get exiled or something? Can't remember. Can't remember. Can't recall. I'll have to read the book again. Whichever book it was. Morrowind feels more alive. This is true. Morrowind is less plagued, although in Morrowind the game, there is a little bit of a plague situation. Or it, is it a plague? Flicky, do correct me. But is it like the, the ash thing? The What Dagoth wants to do? The whole, doesn't he want to uh, infect people in turn into ash zombies or something like that? That's kind of plaguey, isn't it? <laughs> Morrowind does Vardvax. Very true. Morrowind does have Vardvax. This is a good point. Oh, uh, yeah. But yes, I like the thick orange glow in the air. It's very... It's almost volcanic. You could squint a bit and call it volcanic. Corpus disease. That's it. I knew there was a word for it. I couldn't think of it, though. Oh, some waterlog wreckage over there. It's exciting. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, so it's... 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 It's Morrowind vibes. I didn't even think of that. That's so cool. Good stuff. Alrighty. How are we all doing? I think we're all okay. I think we're doing good. We're all here still. We've got a spooky ghost. We've got a Mercadin. We've got a blood elf, we've got another ghost of a different variety, we've got a little bunny rabbit, a bunny rabbit. Hi Peter. Oh, very wise. Elva one found a cure. Hey, nice. Oh my god, that emote is amazing. Flicky dicky. What? <laughs> That's so wiggly and dancey and oh my god. Oh, it's a good job that Twitch hasn't given me animated emotes yet. I think those are still distributed on a person by person basis. I don't think. Maybe everyone does have access to them, I'm not sure. Um What was I going to say? I got so distracted by nothing. What am I? What? Yes, anime emotes. It's a good job I don't have access to them. I don't think I do because, um, <laughs> I, 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 look, I've animated one thing in my life and it was this stream loading dot 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 and it took me a heck of a long time and embarrassingly amount of time. We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right, we're coming to the corner now. There is, I'm going to turn it off my, uh, Dragonfall as it is known. God, I love the music here. It's so fucking sinister. It's great. It's spooky as fuck. It's so cool. Uh, this, 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 this is the danger. This is the danger area. Beware. Beware. There are going to be some angry plague dogs around this place. We need to keep our eyes out. Keep safe. Ah, wonderful. Oh, we got another story. <clears throat> this is the spidery one, and I, it's, it's, it's spooky, so watch out. <laughs> All right, I think we need to head over this way. We do need to go inland a little bit here, so uh, watch out, everyone. Plague dogs abound. A blood elf is on vacation and soaking up the sun by the pool. The sun is so truly relaxing that eventually he falls asleep. When he wakes up again, several hours have passed. He begins to pack up and return to his room where I realize his face is very sore. Oh no, there's a plant in the way. Hang on a second, can we go through it? We can't. I don't know why I thought I could go through a plant. All right, everyone stick together. This is the, this is the danger land. We've got plague doggy number one. Plague doggy is a gone. All right, we're okay. Keep it together, folks. This is so serious, I'm going to put my chest on. No, I'm not. Apparently, the game doesn't want me to. Good for it. I believe it. <laughs> Look, the game told me not to. I'm going to stick to that rule. All right, stick close, everyone. This is the danger times. This is the danger times. Keep your eyes and ears open for plague doggies. If, if you hear a particularly spooky woof, there might be a warlock nearby that is a wagon, but there also might be a plague doggy. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I think we're okay. 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 Hell yeah. I'm gonna head around this side. Oh, there'll be a plague doggy. That's right. I think we've scouted. I think we've sent a blood elf scout ahead. <laughs> Anyhow, blood elf. Sunbathing. Face saw. Gets inside and finds a mirror to check why his face is so sore. And his face is what looks like a pimple. That's a place we can't go. Up here. Up here. Up here. This way. <laughs> oh, heavens above. Climbing over mountains. Who'd have known? It's very uh, difficult. How to do? Oh, you're all going up there. I'll meet you around the other side. Don't worry. Uh, he gasps and thinks he's already had too much sun, wipes and cleans up his face in the hopes he'll stop by the morning. The next morning, the spot has grown. It's swollen, bulging, and very, very painful. With a hot piece of wet cloth, he washes the spot and examines it closely. He gives a gentle squeeze, and suddenly a long black hair pops out of the bump, but it's moving. Ugh, oh, I don't like this story. <laughs> Cries out, and the spot bursts open, raising dozens of baby spiders. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I hate that one. <laughs> I didn't like that one. I mean... It's okay that you told it, don't worry, but oh god, that creeped me out. I didn't that yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, mm hmm. Anyhow, I think we made it to the road. I think we're about safe. Be my nightmare. Yeah, no, that sounds awful, doesn't it? I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I think I might have a spot on my chin. Oh no. Oh no. It's fine, don't worry. You, you can't have that happen to you. 
Oh, there is a flight point by that back there, by the way, if anyone wants to take it. Lacking a wee bit? <gasps> I potentially am. That's I wouldn't be shocked if I was, quite frankly. Who'd have known? Who'd have known? I wouldn't be shocked. All right. Here's the, here's the drill, folks. I'll pause here for a second. Here's the deal. We're here. We're going to follow the road all the way along, all the way past our shire, past the Crown Guard Tower. When we get to the Light Shield Tower turn-off, when we get to Corrin's Crossing, we want to go up here. We want to go to the tower. We do not want to go to Corrin's Crossing. There is a big, there's a big sign on the road. It's big, and it's got, like, skulls on it and spikes, and there's barricades, and it's very obvious that the world does not want you to go in that direction. It's very, very danger. We don't want to go through danger. We don't want to go through danger. Avoid the danger. All right, we'll wait to pay for a second. And then we'll carry on the road. But we want to stick close because there is a little, there is a spot where I think spiders is it? I think we get some spiders quite close to the road. It's a bit of a danger. It's a bit of a danger. So we'll stick close for that one. Oh, a ghost ran towards me. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the ghost toys. They were very, very spooky and atmospheric. Thank you for delivering them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate the storyteller. Let's do a little applause. There we go. Applause for the storyteller. <laughs> very spooky. Very, very spooky. Apparently I'm carrying Rimblat stone. Good to know. Oh, that's from the caravan, isn't it? God, this BG, I was... They were great. They were. The last one fucked me up. So that wasn't my favourite. It was my least favourite, but in a spooky way. It's I, I, I enjoyed how much I hated it. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. They were great. Thank you, Bizarre. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, we're on the last leg now. This is it. We're in we're in Eastern Plaguelands. The destination is within sight. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, wonderful. Are the ghost stories real? No, that's the good thing about them. They're not real. Tis a lie. Tis all stories. <laughs> God, there's plague dogs over there. Ugh, plague puppies. Poor plague puppies. You do feel sorry for the random wildlife that just gets plagued. It's like, oh, what did this squirrel do, huh? Why is this squirrel so plagued? It deserves happiness and squirrely vibes. It does not deserve plaguery. <laughs> ah, well. Ooh. <gasps> oh. We have another form of a ghost. I do enjoy how we're getting, like, various different varieties of ghosts. We've had the wisp. We've had the banshee-looking one. We've had the ethereal-looking one here. This is great. It's kind of Ferondis vibes, it is. That's very Azuna Ghost. I like it. <laughs> oh, dear me. When When's the best time to run away from a Elven Ghost? As soon as you see it. So sorry. Right, let's continue with the walk and pretend I never did that. Uh, <laughs> to your right, I believe, we are... Oh, no, we're not approaching Darashire. Where do I think Darashire is? It's just some spooky stuff. There's just some spooky stuff down there. To your left on the hill up ahead is the Maris Stead, I believe it's called. The Maris Stead. Ferrandis, my husband. I love Ferrandis so much. It's so cool. I tried writing a fanfic once uh, involving Ferrandis and a troll of a certain Warchief variety. It, it it still exists. I haven't got any further with it, but I I want to one day. The Zulu Bund, they're the best, aren't they? But yes, that's the Maristead up there, where I believe Nathanus Blightcaller once called home and may have been murdered there. That, that may have been where he died. That may have been where he died again. Ah, oh, wonderful. Nathanos. Honestly, Nathanos is my weakness too. I like I like Nathanos a bit. He's kinda he's kinda Have we seen him in Shadowlands yet? Don't spoil me if if it's like a future thing, but like in current content, is he a thing that we've been even heard about? I don't know. I'm sure someone mentioned something about Sylvanas and the jailer and something with something, but Kinetical. <gasps> Illidan Stormwind has appeared. Hang on a second. Illidan Stormwind is... St did I say Stormwind? <laughs> Boo. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Riv, are you Illidan Stormrage? Are you Illidan Stormrage? I did not notice you appear. Holy shit, that was spooky as fuck. That was great. That was, <laughs> that was terrifying. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Hello. Hello, Illidan Stormrage. How are you not prepared? Oops. Hey. <laughs> Party is full. Oh no, I think we might have to convert to a raid. Party leader, is that you, Bear's Hearth? Would you be able to convert to a raid and then we can invite our 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 our, our Illidan Stormrage? Second demon hunter. Look at that, look at that. Two demon hunters. One's an elf, one's also an elf. Just a bit bluer than the other one. Especially proud of my Nathanus Anduin fic. I have a Nathanus Anduin fic. And it's a coffee shop one, and it's so cute and daft and cliche, and I love it very much. It's so silly. <laughs> it was one of the first ones I, I, I wrote in a very long time. It was 
Demon Hunter Gang. Yeah, Demon Hunter Gang. Welcome on in. I'm glad you could make it. I love your costume. It's beautiful. Not costume, sorry. You are, of course, a living storm witch. <gasps> and you've got an info. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. 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 I'm Deathwing. We also have... <laughs> Someone's a blood elf. Someone's a demon hunter. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, dear be. But yes, Drowsy, I don't think I've read your um, Nathanus Anduin fic. Is it is it a, an, an 18 plus rated fic? Or is it like a... Is it a softer sort of fic? Mine is very much not 18 plus. I haven't written anything um, back to mature. Yeah, because I, I would... I, it's intimidating. It's intimidating. I don't know if I could. Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Want to hear about the troll fic you spoke about? I haven't written it. It's a very much a work in progress. It's got like five... It's got like, I don't know, it's like two paragraphs, three paragraphs. Basically, it was, I, I asked people, I, you may have been one of the people actually, um, best half, but I, I, I asked some people to give me a random character. Um, I heard, uh, are we carrying out, by the way? Sorry, I, I completely got distracted. Hello, meat, whatever the fuck this thing's called. What are they called? Meat carriages? Meat cleaver? Meat, meat something. They're definitely called meat, meat carriage, meat. So, what's the meat? Give me, what's the meat called? Do I not have it saved somewhere? Meat wagon, that's the word. Meat wagon. Very spooky there. <laughs> Baladash Malinari. Baladash Malinari. <laughs> wonderful, st wonderful stuff. But um, yes, it's very much, it's not. I, I asked uh, two random people for two random characters and I decided I would try and f try and write a, uh, a, 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 um, a fanfic to push them together. And the two characters I was given was Ferrandis and um, what's the other one? Come on, Brian. It was Frondus and Vol'jin. That was it. <laughs> so it was, um... I tried to bush them in together, and it didn't work very well. Like, there was a way I was trying to make it work, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> oh, dear. Do we need to hide the mana worm? Oh, of course, the mana worm is called Kael'thas. <laughs> the mana worm is called Kael'thas. Oh, wonderful. Kael'thas and uh, Illidan, of course, having a sort of an awkward history of being allies, but also maybe turning against each other or not. <laughs> oh, heavens above. Heavens above. Uh, is it in plus times, but lots of plot to? Ah, okay, I shall look into it. Is it, like, is it a fairly lengthy sort of thing? I imagine it, it's, it's, is it a multi-chaptered affair? I'm very, very bad at reading and writing anything that is more than one chapters because I'm, I have the attention span of something with not much of an attention span. Uh, <laughs> But I'll, I'll look into it when I finish stream. That sounds wonderful. I love me some uh, Anduin Nathanos. It's very weird. My mind's an... It's a... It's a... It's an AU. It's a coffee shop AU one. It's very cliche and dumb and stupid. I like it very much. Oh, wonderful. You were prepared for me to drop in. We weren't. We weren't prepared. It was great. I, you snuck in out of nowhere. It was so cool. It was, I just turned around and suddenly there was a little Star Ridge behind us. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> I didn't remember seeing an Elden Star Mage. Oh, apparently there's a troll in front of us. A Moss Flayer Abductor. Oh dear, I think they get killed by NPCs. That's fine. We read it for the plot. Mm -hmm, of course, yes, the plot. H-word scenes, uh, scenes are skippable. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I shall have to potentially look into that. That sounds exciting. I love this Amanda in the It's not exactly the most... What's the word? The troll, quick after it. Net, bl blood Elf, hold yourself. I think it's getting killed by NPCs. We'll be okay. <laughs> Oh god, the altars fell over and died. Psst, psst. Oh, is this you? Oh, this is you. Hello, Dalston. How are you doing? Dun, dun, dun. Would you like... Oh, no, you're... Oh, you're Alliance, so we can't invite you. But we can have you... You can tag along as much as you so desire. I love your transmog and I love your mount. This is amazing. Hello. Another person joining in. Oh, that's a really cool transmog. I love it. It's really just gentle and nice and subtle and it's gorgeous. Holy shit, that's great. I love it. I'm just going to take a screenshot of that and maybe took it for inspiration later on. Uh, 12 chapters and 20,000 words. Goodness gracious me. I might read it one chapter at a time. I don't think I... I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad at managing to read things. I start and then I get... Um, I get um, distracted and don't. But that sounds amazing though. 12 chapters of Anton and Nathanos. <laughs> amazing. We'll do the str amazing stuff. Alrighty. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Look at you all, you little costumes. Bless ya. Bless ya. <laughs> oh, dear me. Can read, read, but cannot type there. Oh, no. Oh, right, okay. Not a problem. Oh, oh, no. Well, that's... Oh, no. Curse you, Blizzard, and your weird 
trial account restrictions that are wonky. <laughs> Uh, dear me. We do have the, um, there is the, uh, whatchamacallit chat, this one here. The link for this. Hang on a second. If I put, 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 there's a link for this here. Let me, let me, I'll pop it in the, uh, stream chat. Don't know if it's, uh, got to work properly or not, but there it is. That, that's for the Blizzard community. If anyone wants to plot themselves in there, totally okay if they want to. But, like, that's just a, a way of sort of, uh, you know, a cross-alliance and cross-party way of talking as well. <laughs> ah, wonderful stuff. Another elf. It is another elf. We've got another elf. More elves. More elves. More, <laughs> more elves. We've turned all of our trolls into elves. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Heartbreaking. <laughs> Alrighty, wonderful stuff. See, how we all doing? Are we taking a moment to have a breather? I think we, I think we can do that. Alrighty. Alrighty. How are we all doing? Oh, sorry, I'm just stretching my legs. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Charlie's low level doesn't have flying. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> ah, reject elf, ah, return yeah. to trial. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Alrighty, are we good to carry on? I think we're good to carry on. And we're good to keep on mumbling. Keep on ambling onwards. We can, we can. Uh, I do believe everyone should be able to see uh, slash say ah, but not everyone. Not everyone. Oh... Uh, uh, Cleason character is uh, Tevin, slightly overweight, man of worm. Aww. Hi, Cletus. I like you. You're cool. Ah, oh, wonderful. Uh, no one knows how he's so chunk due to being arcane energy. That's very true. You wouldn't expect arcane energy to have uh, much of a chunk to it, but this one does. That's amazing. I love him. I love him. They seem cool. <laughs> chonky boy. Very chonky boy. Perfection. Perfection. Chonky, the chonkiest of the man of worms. I think we just passed uh, Darasha, yes. Down there, spooky times with a uh, ghost child. It's really weird. It's, it's, it's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. We don't go down there. <laughs> we don't go down there. Absolute sausage. Oh, too heavy to float. Drapes himself across people. Craves attention and pastries. Hey, this sounds amazing. I like them. I like them. Ah, this is the Batland. Everybody, there are bats around this place. They are dangerous. Uh, stay close. We should be fine, though. We should be fine. We should be safe. As long as we keep ourselves... Uh... Alert. <laughs> we shouldn't have any dangers with the bats. 60, we've got level 20, we've got level... What's, what's our Eldin? Eldin's 43. Okay, so we should be okay. We just need to keep alert. I think we'll be okay. I think I just smacked my microphone. Sorry. Alrighty. How are we doing? How are we doing for time? I mean, we can absolutely run over if we need to. I've got about 20 minutes left of stream, and honestly, I think that will absolutely do us. We're not far away now. It's It's what... 10 minutes at most until we get to the chapel. That's our landing point. That's our ending point. We finish at the chapel. It's exciting. Oh, God, we've made it. I can't believe we've got so far. This is amazing. Look at Illidan running around being cool, protective. I love it. God, the demon hunter, like, idle pose when you're, like, in combat of, like, the, like holding the glaives out in front and behind them is so fucking cool. That's, like, the coolest fucking pose ever. It's so cool. I love it so much. Also, casual ghosts were walking through. Totally normal. This is Halloween. <laughs> Spooky vibes and ghosts. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You are very cool. You are very cool. The coolest, if you will. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Goodness gracious. Sorry. Big yawns. Big yawns. I mean, I'm glad I'm yawning now as opposed to at the start of the walk. That would have been a bad sign if, we, if we'd set off and I was yawning. That would have been bad. But the good news is, not the case. Ah, wonderful. Flicky reject elf from return to troll. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Flicky rejected elf from return to troll. And I am very okay with them doing this. This is... <laughs> Look, trolls, elves, they're all beautiful. I want to see them all. All of them. All of them. Every single all of them. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you are, you're all beautiful. <laughs> ah, good, 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 good. Look at you all, look at you all. Dun, 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 dun. Bless you, bless you. And of course, Illidan is part of the shirtless club. <laughs> uh, have you seen character art of Illidan, though? He he has a chest the size of, like, three tree trunks strapped together. He, I, You'd struggle to find a shirt that would, like... It would have to be a very custom-made shirt to fit the ridiculous muscles that Illidan has in artwork. He's great. He's wonderful. He's weird. I love him. <laughs> Uh, concept character, Illidan, but troll, troll Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
I like it a lot. I would, yes, I, I vote yes for this. <laughs> yes, but it's way to snatch. It's true. <laughs> uh, base is my idea originally. Hey, nice. Amazing. What if it did but troll? It's great. It's great. Alrighty. Oh, yes. Okay, so remember earlier when I was like, there's a bit in the road where we need to take a left, and if we don't, there's a very... It's very clearly signposted in front of us. There's skulls and crossbones and spikes and danger, danger, danger. We do not walk through the danger, danger, danger. The danger, danger, danger is, shockingly, danger. A heroic throw and a fireball at the same time. So yes, we don't want to be walking towards Dangerland. You see this, this, this flaming, there's literally things on fire. It's very clearly signposted as danger. We don't want to go that way. We are, we want to head to the left. Don't go, go, don't go. I mean, go into danger if you really want to, but it is danger. <laughs> That is, what's it called? Corin's Crossing. We want to we want to swerve left of Corin's Crossing. Danger is my middle name. It's a good thing I can't read. Are you all gonna walk in today? <laughs> Stay safe, kids. I'm gonna go the, the safe way. <laughs> Do you wanna go through danger? We could go through danger if you want. We could go through danger. Oh God, I've gotta to have to keep everyone safe. <laughs> all right, I'm on my way. Lights are spooky. Oh no, are there spooky lights in Danger Town? All right. We don't have to go Danger, but we absolutely can go Danger. Tell what, you guys go- Oh, where do I with your feel torn? <laughs> I'm gonna walk Danger Way, but both routes are very viable options. We will, we'll, whatever route we take, we'll meet back here in the crossroads at the center. <laughs> Stay safe, folks. Stay safe. Choose appropriately. Uh, I, Illidan, Illidan and Winfig. Oh. Have you wrote everyone with Anduin? Because I love that. I love that. Good for him. Uh, finding clothing filled in and related difficulties. Yeah, I'd imagine there's a difficulties with that. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Yes, but we'll we'll either go through spooky or we'll go through not spooky and we will beat in the middle. I'm going to try and catch up. I think I'm on my own now. <gasps> oh, no, I'm not on my own. Hang on. Sorry. 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 I was looking at party icons and got distracted. These are spooky lights. Holy shit. Look at them. Look at them. What is this? It's like a green... Again, what is it with the undead and just having scut? That's a spine. That's a spine. They've made a lamp out of a spine. What the fuck? <laughs> because of me. <gasps> Amazing. That's so cool. That's so cool. Ooh, rough and running. We're going. We're going. We've got to run through this boogie town. Oh, I think we can see the signs of people that were here before us. We've got a very dead abomination. Yep. We've got <laughs> some very dead banshees. Yep. Okay. There's, there's definitely been people running through here in front of us. Good for them. <laughs> I've never looked at these lights before, you know. They really are spooky. It's a spine. It's a pile of skulls and a spine with a skull holding, like, a really creepy fire. Oh, my God. I want a violence. What? I think one of our trolls is on fire, but apparently this is okay. I don't... <laughs> Look, whatever works. Whatever works. Oh, a troll's fallible. Anyhow, we have made it through the danger. <gasps> Look, there. There they are. There they are. We're, we're grouping up. Oh, my God. Troll, stay safe. Tro <laughs> troll. Oh, God. <gasps> Heavens above! All right, regrouping. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? So, how was the not dangerous route? Was it nice and calm and relaxing? The danger route was full of danger. Shocking, I know. All together again. Yay, we made it. We made it. Someone healed the troll. I wish I could, but I'm a warrior. The best I can do is shout encouragingly at the troll. It's... <laughs> Don't worry, I speak elf. <gasps> yes, excellent. <laughs> the elf speaks elf. I violenced a little. Oh no. A shalaba shalaba shaman malare. It was safe. Excellent. I'm glad. I'm glad. Ah, oh, dear. Most of my uh, fixer of saying something interesting going, well, fuck it. I guess I'm writing that. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Alrighty. Onwards we go. I think onwards we go. Oh, right. Not that onwards. This onwards. Sorry. There's a different onwards we need to go. We're heading this way. <laughs> this way, folks, towards the chapel. Sorry. <laughs> Oh dear, it's okay. We can pass, we can pass, we can pass away. I did originally think about going into the ghost sands, heading north and heading into the ghost sands, because I thought that would be cool, but I couldn't think of a good place to end in the ghost sands. And the ghost sands is most definitely a hard area. So there was the definite worry of that, and it's 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 dangerous. You can't really walk up the dead scar without doing much. I wanted to go to Death Home, but there's no good place to stay in Death Home. It's full of enemies, you know, it's I was wanting to continue the route there, but I figured Lights Up Chapel was it was a good enough ending point, you know, it was nice and neutral and central and it wasn't making the walk go too far. We capped it off nice and easy. I, I was happy with that. Oh, dear me. But that's so cool that it's like a process for writing fix that you have, Drowsy. That's great. That's great. 
when it comes to me and writing fix, I always have um, ideas and stuff like that and things I want to do, and I never have the enthusiasm or the drive to do it. So one thing that I... The main reason I end up writing fix is because it's a gift for someone. There's a... Um, there's a few gift, uh, sorry, a few fic exchanges that go on between uh, various communities for like Christmas and stuff like that, and I usually sign up for those because that's the only way I end up like actually managing to write something is if I am given some sort of deadline and I am told this is for someone else, please have it done by this deadline, and and that's yep, yeah. it's worked out well so far actually. I've I've really enjoyed those events, the fic exchanges. They've been great fun, great fun. What you talking about? That's how I usually get ideas, but replace Riv uh, with you and write it with drawing. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, wonderful. It's very red in the Eastern Plague Lands, isn't it? Very red. Very red and very dead. Luckily, we are not dead. <laughs> excellent, 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 excellent. Oh, bless you all. Orange. Yeah, it's it's definitely an orange as opposed to a red, isn't it? You, that's, a, that's a very good point. It's an orange. It's not a red. It's still dead, though. It's... <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that with the necropolis above it. It's so cool. What's that one called? It's the... Yeah, it's the Ebon Holders in it. Acarus. Acarus? Is it pronounced Acarus? Or... Um, it's the Death Knight place. It's Death Knight place. God, I should have brought my Death Knight. That's what I should have done. I should have brought my Death Knight for the walk. That would have been great. Acarus. E. Uh, you swap to the last scene. You can... Uh, yes, you can say... Um, speak cross action with Void Elves. We can both speak Falassian. Which makes total sense, and I'm so glad it does. Oh! Congratulations, our troll, on leveling up. I'm so proud of you. Well done. <laughs> Did you just level to 42? Wait, who leveled? Was it the troll? Was it the... Oh, I'm so confused. Who leveled? Who leveled? I mean, I'm going to applaud for everyone. Everyone gets an applause. I can't... I didn't see who leveled, so everyone gets the applause. Well done, everyone. I'm proud of you all. <laughs> the claps keep on going. They keep on going. I'm going to... I applaud a Merka did in a minute if I'm not Good careful. Job. It was me. Hey, congratulations on the level. <laughs> 42. Impressive. <laughs> the Blood Elf. Ah, yeah, sorry. It was the Blood Elf. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> hey, we've made it to the bridge. <sighs> Look at you being so cool walking on the edge of the bridge. It's very stressful. It's very stressful. What about one of you fall? Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Would you like to troll Evolve to Elf? No. Both are cool. Both are cool. <laughs> ah, dear. Blood off for the next five minutes. Very true. We have to, uh, yep. <laughs> well, but the chapel's only there. It's, it's, ugh. is that the rule then? As soon as we get to the chapel, all of the costumes drop off. Is that like a thing? <laughs> get your blood off requests in now. I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any, you know. Can't think of any blood off requests anyhow. Oh, God, I can't believe we've made it. <sighs> the final stretch, the final road, the final bit of the everything. We made it so far. I'm so proud of you all. Look at you all. Look at you all. You're so cool. I'm so proud. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Tell us Blood Elf swears. Do not tell us Blood Elf swears. <laughs> Do whatever you desire. I can't believe we've made it this far. Look at you all. Look at you all. So proud. So proud. Lights Hope Chapel. We're here. We made it! Fuck, excellent, great. That's a great blood I'll swear, thank you. <laughs> We're here, everyone. We've made it. We're about to cross the gates, but we've loaded into the zone. The music is playing. We are here. We've made it to Lights Up Chapel. Ew, the light. I agree, but it's spooky. You know, it's... <laughs> Not my thing. Illidan, you don't like the light, really? <laughs> so shock. Uh... <laughs> Welcome, though, everyone. We made it. Our destination, the safe refuge at the end of the dangerous, dangerous road. I'm so proud of us all. Well done, everyone. Congratulations, we made it. There was that one arrow. There was a yeah, mm-hmm. That, that's very true. We could pillage. Just a little. Just just a just a polite pillage. A little bit of pillaging. <gasps> well done everyone. We made it. We made it. We're at Lights Up Chapel. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Look at you all. Look at you all. Oh, I think everyone's detrolling. <laughs> a smidgen of raiding. Just a, a polite blob of raid. It's a pumpkin down. It is. There's loads of decorations here. It's great. Well done, everyone. Well done. Applause all around. We made it. We made it to Lights Up Chapel. Hell yeah. Look at you all. Look at you all. It's so cool. Amazing stuff. Should we all line up? How do we all feel about lining up in front of Lights Up? 
How do we? Oh, candy bucket. Hang on. Good point. Let's go get. Let's go get the trick or treat. Da, 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 have full of treats. Nice stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, I can be a gnome female. I'd rather not. Um, how do we all feel about lining up in front of the steps for a little bit of a screenshot? Don't worry about um, rushing to do it. We can take your time, but just eventually I'd like a little screenshot. That's okay. But no worries if not. I've got plenty from the road, quite frankly. Look at you all. Look at you all. God bless you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna run it. I was gonna say I'm gonna put my full costume on and put the shirt back on. Nah, I'm just gonna be shirtless. Okay, I'll put it back on. Okay, I'll put it back on a little bit. Look, y'all got a blood elf up here. Oh. Oh, we have a gargoyle. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> look at y'all. Look at y'all. I'm gonna try and stand semi central so that I can get like a good camera angle. Or does all, if that's okay. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Where, where are we all? Where are we all? I'm gonna, I'm gonna nudge over, make some room. Make some room. How are we all doing? We all doing? We are? Wait, 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 wait. All right. Now, everybody, uh, on the count of three, spam your screenshot button. Oh, wait for everyone to get in. <laughs> there we go. On the count of three, spam the screenshot button like you've never spammed it before. All right. Are we ready? One, two, three. <laughs> all of the screenshots. Nefarian, go away. You're, you're spoiling the view. You're flying in someone's face. <laughs> Oh, look at you all. Look at you all. Amazing stuff. Well done, everyone. We made it. We made it. We did the walk. We completed it. We survived the road. It was dark. It was dangerous. It was deadly in some parts, but we made it. We made it. Congratulations, everyone. I'm proud of you all. You all deserve badges that say, I did it. I'm a cool person. I did a walk from the establishment known as PATH, which is the People's um, Association of... Uh, I forgot what I call it, fuck. The people's something, I don't know, people that walk. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone, we did it. We did it. I'm so proud of you all. Need to go take a bath now, uh-huh. <laughs> from being, from being a, an elf, <laughs> that's fair. Oh, dear me, we made it, we did. Congratulations, everyone. All right, time to relax now. I'm just going to sleep. I'm just going to sleep. I'm just going to... There we go. It's a good walk. Time for a nap. <laughs> Do you know what it is time for, actually? Hang on a second. Let's pop down some... Where is it? Where is it? Transmorpha beacon. What will the fates give me? Who dares An orc. Possibly Nezuel. Possibly just some random orc. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> I forgot that everyone speaks. Oh my heavens, did we get the same orc? Did two people get the same orc? No. <laughs> okay, we have two of the same orcs. I'm also an orc. Did we just get the Hellfire Citadel set? What's this? What's this little orc gathering we've got here? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, congratulations. Oh, we got a spooky ghost. Is that? Is that what's his face? Medivh's dad or something? So many orcs. There's an orc apocalypse going on over here. Oh my goodness. Orcs everywhere. I don't like it. I don't want to be an orc. What I do want to be is dressed orcs for humans. Oh, that would have been so good if I hadn't stopped being an orc. I'm going to dress up. There we go. Wonderful stuff. It's Warcraft. It is. We're playing Warcraft. Orcs versus humans. I'm a spectator. I'm an elf. Elves don't count until like Warcraft 2 or something. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress up in a holiday outfit okay with everyone and because halloween's now over it's time for christmas congratulations everyone we did the walk halloween's ended christmas ahoy oh my god <laughs> all of the noises i forgot that, that, that it does shouts when people turn into their things amazing stuff amazing stuff and now the panda what type of panda a celestial defender oh wonderful well, that was the walk, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was a nice time. I'd love to do another one of these at some point. Uh, maybe not too, too often. I don't want to spoil it, you know. Maybe we'll find a different route for... Oh, should we do a Christmas one? Should we do a Winter's Veil vale walk or something? A seasonal winter walk? Oh, should we do... It could, it could be through Northrend. Northrend is pretty seasonal. Or we could even do something like... I was going to say Dunmoreau, but there's not really much of a seasonal area attached to Dunmoreau. Hello, and welcome to the Tevento. Today we get some test results back. Oh, no. You are not the father. Oh, no. It does. It looks like a little talk show, doesn't it? With a little chairs. That's great. 
Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, no. Well, then, everyone, congratulations on doing it. I, yeah, I'd love to do maybe some sort of Winter's Veil vale one, but we'll see close to the time. That's not important. Right now, Winter Walk. Yeah, it'd be great. I think maybe Northrend. Northrend might be the, might be the shout for that. It might indeed. Oh, well done, everyone. Congratulations on making it. <laughs> Thank you for the boop on the nose. Ah, oh, wonderful. Right, you can all bugger off now. We're done. Y your time here with me is spent. We're gonna... <laughs> you, can, you can tick it off. You've done it. Congratulations. You've made it. Ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. It was lovely to hang out with you all. I think the stream's over now, though, I'm afraid. Oh, Illidan Stormrage is flexing. <laughs> Amazing stuff. That's what Illidan Stormrage does best. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, in two minutes, I will have been live for... Um, well, until the normal end of stream time, at least midnight, that's what it is. Oh, congratulations, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. This has been a really, really nice time. I I, I would love to do it again. Oh, gosh, no, the nose booping. Not the nose booping. <laughs> it's been a very, very lovely time hanging out with you all. Thank you all for stopping by. And yeah, I'd love to do it again. I'd love to do a winter walk again. That'd be nice. A winter walk. A little winter walk. We can all dress up if we want to. Be great. Be great. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I do enjoy... It's a very Warcraft thing. At the, like, at the end of something, or like if there's a period of time when we're all just stood around, it sort of descends into toy-based madness. You know, it's toy-based chaos. It's just, you know, everyone opens up the toy book and goes, right, what can I click on that will make things appear? What? <laughs> How can I make the world change? Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Go to the lamppost. A very good question. I'm going to... Uh, use Deathwing to do that. Can we all fit on the lap post? Can we all just... Oh. Wait. Hang on a second, I've got a two-person mount. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. Sandstone Drake. Alright, would anybody like a lift on top of the lamp post? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Whoa, hello. Eh. 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 Now, here's the thing. I will definitely be still on it. I cannot promise or guarantee that you will be, but I'll try my best. Nice. All right, one more time. Would you like a lift up to the lamppost? <laughs> I will try my best. There we go. Use Leap of Faith. Oh, that would have been such a good idea, wouldn't it? Whoops. Oh, well. All right. Fingers crossed. We've made it. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> How many elves can fit on a lamppost? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, just four. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, plus two trolls. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. You made it on top of a lamppost. What better way to end? What better way to end? I am troll. Yes, you are. You are probably troll again. Proud of you. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Amazing stuff. Oh, dear me. Oh, look at the screenshots you put in. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, wow, with the night potion on, of course. Oh, that's great. I love them all. I love them all. They're so good. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Amazing stuff. You have long ears. That's very true, although more than elves have long ears. Ah, uh, well, with this delightful sight before us, I think I'm going to have to disappear because I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> Mildly concerned. What by? By the, um... Yeah, fair enough, actually. Fair <laughs> Understandable. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a fair concern with the, yeah, mm -hmm, the terrifying <laughs> point of view. You are terrified of a lamppost. I would also be, I would also be terrified of a lamppost. Look at that, that's a wonderful view. Oh, heavens above. Heavens above. <laughs> amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Can you help with Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to go now. The stream's over. Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been really, very wonderful. Uh, I'll put a schedule out for next week soon. But the train has arrived, and therefore it is time to leave. <gasps> Did someone put a train break it down? Oh no! 
Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you all for stopping by, everyone. Take care of yourselves. I will hopefully see you around soon. And I leave you with a pile of people on a lamppost making train noises because, quite frankly, what else? What else? Hopelessly confused. Me too. All right, you're all wonderful people. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. Choo-choo. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. Happy Halloween. I said it. I said it.